Hello and welcome to be a tier German engineer. Yes, finally we're back. Yeah, slight trouble with the internet connection, but I think I got it figured out. Uh, restart of the router was all it took. Welcome to the world of IT, I guess. Everything should be smooth now, I hope. I hope you can hear me fine. I hope you can hear the background here. We are, of course, already back in our wonderful colony right here. And, well, wonderful is probably a little bit easy said since we are not doing too hot. I paid way too much attention to the chat last time around. And, well, we are basically starving to death. So I hope we can change that today. Thank you, everybody, for being already around. I truly appreciate that. So, I would say we need to get started with some basics. Again, we are talking about food. Yeah, this thing here is what we slapped together last time in an absolute hurry. Is it a beauty? No, not really. Does it work? Even that is questionable. So we certainly have to come up with a better solution. And I think that is our number one priority. So let's take a quick look in our overview right here. We don't have a, a lot of heat to work with. Of course, we are on Rhyme. All we have currently are those two space heaters. And that is not a hell of a lot. So what can we do about it? Over here on the right side, we have our rock rusher, but we also have plenty of space available to us, which is, of course, a good thing. So maybe what we could do. Let me take a look at our mealwood right here. Mealwood doesn't need a hell of a lot to be happy. It just needs some oxygen and some air pressure. Of course, carbon dioxide works as well. So we don't have to be careful how high or low we build it. Also slowly but steadily, apparently our oxygen pressure is somewhat stabilizing in the base, which is very good to see when we come all the way down here. Down here on the bottom, we have 1.8 kilograms of carbon dioxide. Also right here, we have our cold generators, which I hope will pick up the slack now. Let's take a look down here in our F3. Yeah, of course, they are mainly disabled and without some insulated tiles around here, they will not really generate any heat. But, like I said, up here on the top, right beside the rock rusher, we should probably put in more farm tiles. So let's do precisely that. Over here, we're gonna come all the way over to probably right around here and then insulated tiles. Just thinking about it, yeah, right here, we could, yeah, we could probably insulate this entire area. We're just going to have some bathrooms right here for right now until we rebuild the left side. And eventually, all this here will be gone as well. This is all, all just a temporary solution. So, let's go four high and come all the way through. And then down here on the bottom, we are going to plop in another row of insulated tile. Again, just a temporary solution. We need food and we need it quickly. So, that is what we're going to do. I would suggest you use standard tiles below the left heater. Yeah, right here, that was just for gas exchange. We probably need either standard ones or even better insulated tiles. But for right now, I think we are okay. But first of all, let's get this over here done. Our dupes are not happy at all because they are digging out all this here and they are a little bit troubled with hypothermia. But hopefully we can fix that very soon as well. I believe this year should be done rather sooner than later. The only problem is, of course, I forgot one thing. To actually get over here, we will need a top built out of ladders. Every other one would be good enough, but this year makes it a tiny little bit faster. Down here on the bottom, we're gonna have two of our storage units, in which we can store all of that ice that we will dig up up here on the top. Most of this stuff here is gonna freeze very soon. Again, it is extremely cold. So we will need to make sure that we can get rid of it before it melts all over our base. So, let's see that we can get this here in. What are our priorities at? Our priorities for digging should be slightly higher than for building. That would be nice. And then, of course, down here on the bottom, we will need two spaces so our dupes can actually walk, uh, walk along here. That would also be helpful. And then back here, we're just going to plop in a ladder um, so the dupes can go up and down. And probably over here on the right side, we're going to put another spine in here where the dupes can go up and down. But that will be future music. For right now, it is fine the way it is. We have currently a 6 out of 8 critters in here with 2 more hatchling eggs. And if we find any more hatches, we of course will slap them into the top or the bottom. Doesn't really matter too much. As long as we have them, we need to keep our coal production up as well. This one here open and this one here locked. Um, what? Did you literally get yourself stuck up here? Oh my goodness, of course you did. But at least you can free yourself since all we have here is sandstone and sand. So that is perfectly fine as well. 
You should make it back before something bad happens. All right. Always got to look out for those dupes getting themselves stuck. They really, really like to do that, as we all know. Our bedrooms over here are also at the moment a little bit questionable. What we can do here is, or better to say, what I like to do is, we are just going to put in a little bit of a blueprint. We're going to build two doors, and then we need some space. We need a total of four tiles right here, and then we're going to plop in another two, then another, another four spaces, and then two more doors. There we go. Something just like this here. Those are five spaces. Good grief. All right, that's better. This here is eventually what all of our bathrooms, or better to say, our bedrooms will look like. But for right now, just to have it in here, we are going to turn down the priority to one so the dupes are not worried about it because we really don't need it. I just want to lay it out to know how far we have to go back. There's, of course, one more thing missing here in the back, and that is a total of six wide, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then right here, we can close it off. So this here is the entire structure, what that will look like in the end. But for right now, we're just going to give it a number one priority, so the dupes will leave it alone. Yeah, there is already a bunch of ice here. We need to find a storage location for the ice probably long before we get into this here. Uh, something temporary. Doesn't really matter too much where. We could even put it all the way down here, for example, at negative 30 degrees. It really wouldn't matter. There's really nothing stopping us from doing so. So I would say let's build this a quick storage bin. Uh, maybe not all the way down here. What can we do here? What is the best solution? You know what? Screw it. We can put it in here. Three of them. Uh, again, temporary, just for ice storage. So we get it out of the base before it melts somewhere random and floods everything where we definitely don't want it to flood. Turn up the speed here just a little bit. There we go. That should make it a hell of a lot better. That is now five times speed. And of course, we can always go to ten times speed if we want to. But that is a little bit overwhelming for most cases. So we're going to leave it right the second at 5%. And hope that we don't miss anything. Like, for example, we are running extremely low on food. In an absolute worst case scenario, we may have to sacrifice our two hatchling eggs right here. And up here on the top, we also have two excellent fruits. So, I would say, let's give this here a much higher priority. Let's get over here, and then uh, let's get up here. As soon as we are in this area, we can just dig it up and get a little bit of food back. We already have some starving going on, but I think we will be able to make it past that. Yeah, in the last stream, I really didn't pay too much attention to the basic needs like food for our dupes. And uh, that is, of course, now coming back to haunt us. But, of course, we should be able to solve the problem here relatively quickly. And hopefully none of our dupes will die. Uh, that would be slightly embarrassing. But I think we can make that happen. A little bit of food that we do have is uh, thankfully uh, not ridden by any germs. And that is also a very good thing. But these two excellent fruits here will get us by. In worst case scenario, we cannot dig through here yet. That is a problem. But we can get to this one here as well if we dig around. If we absolutely have to. I hope it doesn't come to that though. We're going to copy the settings. I don't think we have necessarily enough mealwood seeds. But we're definitely going to make it happen. Oh, better times look for a European audience? Yes, as a matter of fact, that is the general idea. Um, just turned out that I have some time today and I figured to help out my European audience a little bit and give them a chance to see me if they choose to do so I would start a, a little bit earlier. It should currently be what 941 roughly in European time unless you are in England um, So yeah, it's uh, still early enough that you can come online if you want to and that is the general idea and I hope in the future I can make it a little bit more balanced between the European audience and the American audience. Body temperature over here is of course extremely cold right now. We first need to get rid of the ice. As soon as we are rid of the ice, we will heat up this area right here. And as soon as this here is built, we will actually put a liquid tepidizer in here. That is the master plan. And with the water, we will then heat up our entire base. But unfortunately, to get that done, 
it will take a tiny, tiny little bit longer. So, yeah, one step after the next. Right at the moment, we have to scratch by because I didn't pay too much attention to the water in the beginning or to the food, really. So that was clearly a mistake. And um, yeah, and now we have to pay for it one way or another. Other than that, in the base, we are doing pretty well. Okay, research is completed. I'm not going to give him any more research for right now. So Deer Guard and Cassiopeia can actually help us building and mainly digging right now. That is all important. Uh, so we will keep him away from those kind of tasks. Come on, guys. Uh, you don't feel the love over here or what is it? Uh, you should be building it with the highest possible priority. Well, unless you give it the urgency priority but that would be a little bit too much right now come on oh yeah what's coming very very good have any duplicate skills we have deer guard right here but if we give deer guard another skill in sciences this moral here is not going to be too happy so we're going to leave him alone i was hoping for building or digging a little bit faster that would be helpful right this second but it should be okay In my rhyme world, I had to hunt all those small cracked natural tiles for food for a while, right, right, <laughs> right where you are now. Yep, that is the, the next solution. Absolutely. Uh, what you are talking about are these little things right here, because each and every one could contain food. We don't know what's in there. All it says is buried object. But most certainly, we can dig all this here up and hope that we find, for example, some muckroot. I am gonna get us a tiny little bit more copper ore here, or better to say, convert copper ore to copper. This is highly inefficient, but it's the best that we have for right this moment, so we are doing okay. We just don't have a choice. Um, if we want copper this early on, the rock crusher is the only method to get it. Definitely something that we have to change later, but yeah, it'll be a little while until we get there. Alright, digging a number 9 priority. Let's come across here. Bring out the new critter pick up and drop off objects that, re that replace the old drop off. Um, you mean this drop off right here? There's a new one. Not entirely sure what you mean, unless there's something going on on the uh, testing channel. Okay, it is the testing channel. The be uh, beta quality of life update for February. I haven't looked into that yet, so. Honestly, don't know what's going on there. Certainly something that I will have to check out when it comes out, though. I'm still six months behind. Uh, come, it comes out Thursday. Okay, then I, then I better look in it. Rather sooner than earlier, I guess. <laughs> uh, right here. How are we going to do this? We can't just come along here. We need to get rid of as much natural tiles here as we can because they store a lot of uh, heat energy or better to say in our case a lot of cold energy i guess all right our two excellent fruits right here did provide us about 12,000 kilocalories that is a good start but it is certainly not optimal we need more than that and we can do exactly what uh ola here such su what ola here such well my voice is dying on me sorry guys what ola here suggested which is digging up those natural tiles right here with the uh, little um cracks in it and we will just see if we can dig up something that helps us out all this here should be reachable it says it's not but they are slightly lying to us as usual of course once the tiles above them or below them are dug up we will be able to get to them and we are grabbing the ones that are easiest to reach first of course because that makes perfect sense i would say there we go something like this here there are two more in here and we get a little bit of copper out of it as well that never hurts here's another one in the copper each and every one of those here can contain muck root and as a matter of fact we need the algae anyway 
to heat this area here up. Eventually we will probably need a space heater at least temporarily. Down here on the bottom we have a storage bin in uh, liquefiable. We have ice and snow. We are going to turn that on. We are going to say copy the settings to both of them. Not this one here, please, though. That was a mistake. One too many. This one here is, of course, consumable or coal, please. We're a number seven priority. And these are a number seven priority as well. Because we want the dupes to actually get all the snow and ice, grab it right here, and then bring it down there and put it into those storage bins. That would be the general idea, at least. This one here is, of course, unreachable, so we're going to let it go. But we have now 40 tons that we can store, which should hopefully be sufficient for all this ice right here. Our overview right here we can see it we are at negative 10 degrees in here that is not exactly what we want to help it out what we're going to do is we are going to plop right here insulated tiles along the floor as well and in that case we can actually leave those tiles right here because then at that point they don't disturb us so we have to go only too high so we can actually build this stuff right here but other than that uh, once this year is in a wonderful insulated environment, we should be able to just plop a space heater in here or two for a very short amount of time, and that should then hopefully help retain the heat energy that those put out. I will increase the priority of our building here because we do need to get food in ASAP and of course the highest priority has to be put on this side right here right at this moment so we can grow our meal with here as fast as possible and I will also put already the first space heater in here and in F2 we have our power overview and we can just go ahead and then hook it up to power. It will take more power than we can actually use with our wire right here. So we need to be a little bit careful with that. But as soon as our rock rusher here is done with that last ore, that should be okay. Let's take another look. Yep, that looks a hell of a lot better. And look at that, the timing works out just as well. It must have been over a year since I played on Rhyme, fun and challenging. It sure enough is. You know, people think Rhyme is quote-unquote the easy world because you don't have to deal with the heat, but in my opinion it's actually more complicated to deal with the cold than it is with the heat, especially in the beginning. Like later on, cold and heat both are not that big of an issue, but in the beginning it is rather challenging to deal with the cold because you really don't have a hell of a lot other than the space heater, and even for the liquid tepidizer that we're going to build in this area right here, you will need a bunch of power. Basically, one of these cables right here by itself will do nothing else than power our liquid tepidizer. So that is certainly something that uh, people slightly underestimate in my experience. We got an oxyfern seed, I see a mealwood seed, but it doesn't look like we got all so lucky with um, any muckroot or any food in general. That is a problem. Of course, all these here we will rip out eventually and we will place them over here and then eventually also up here on the top. So those two areas right here will be our farms and on top of that we're gonna have our two ranches. But for right at this moment, yeah, we just need to get it done ASAP. Turning the speed up once again. Come on, get it in here, guys. That was also a mod that gave you 100k Kelvin world. <laughs> that was brutal. Yeah, 100k Kelvin 
is about negative 173 degrees Celsius. Um, doesn't sound easy. I have not seen this mod or ever heard of it, but it certainly sounds like a, uh, let's call it an interesting experience. <laughs> Come on, finish that first space heater right here. Uh, that get a little bit of heat in here. We will then need a second one a little bit further back. Uh, something like this here maybe should be a good distance. There we go. And then we're going to copy the settings into all the ones where I don't currently have space heaters on. Like I said, eventually the space heaters will go and give us two more extra tiles. But for right the second, that this year will have to do. We are back to zero calories. Okay. Sounds like we have to do something about that. Uh, rather earlier than later. So, let's come over here. It looks like we have a lot going on in this area right here. Uh, we're on number seven priority, I say. We are just going to dig randomly all the way through here. And from here, we should be able to get a lot more access to all the others all around. And this year, I think, is a good starting location. In our electrical grill, we don't have anything other than omelettes. Um, what else can we do? Let's take a look. Don't have too much around that will help us. Um, the micro musher soil and water seed says Leslie. Okay, that is actually a good idea. We could try that out. Something that I haven't used in a long, long time. My God. Uh, just for right now, we're going to put a bit up here. Yes, I made the stream. Hi, Beer. How are you doing? Says Gremlin Games. I'm doing great. How about yourself? Um, my quality is not doing too hot, but I'm doing good. <laughs> so there's that. Let's take a look at another dupe here. We don't really want to feed another hungry dupe unless it's an insanely good one. So let's take a quick look here. We have ranching and suit wearing. Um, we have increased machinery here with the Grease Monkey and cannot do researching errands would be okay in a normal situation, but right at this moment, again, I don't really want to feed another dupe. Decreased agriculture with piloting creativity and science. We do really need a decorating dupe. Uh, but a, getting a tense dupe on in this situation, is that a smart move? That is the question here. And I think we are going to wait one more cycle. So we are just going to grab us another three tons of sand. I think that never hurts. And in the next go around, hopefully, we are off a little bit better. How are we looking right here? We can do improved construction too, though. Um, also improved farming. We currently have one farmer who is also our rancher, and I think that's the only one that we have, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that is apparently absolutely correct. So frozen hair right here will get improved farming number one to help us out a little bit with plus two agriculture, since we need to get heavily into that. That is what we're going to do right here. And then in priorities, we're going to go right ahead where it's frozen hair right here. Let's see. And farming, we're going to give him also a little bit of a higher priority. All right. So far, so good. Slowly but steadily, it looks like something. We have another hatch right here. Let's wrangle that thing up right away as well. But we desperately need food. We are at zero calories right now. And right here, we have one that's almost ready here. We are at 75%. But we are not looking too hot, and I am slightly getting worried about losing a dupe here. We are putting out heat. We are getting up with our temperature all around. That is a good start. But right here, we are still at negative 9 on the actual meal wood, which is suboptimal. We really need to get this second space heater here up and going. And yeah, that is a problem. But I think we will be able to manage it. Once again, that is a temporary solution and definitely not recommended by me or anyone else for that matter. <laughs> but sometimes you have to do what you have to do to stay alive. And currently we are all about it. survival. Uh, the macro musher here is coming online as well. We will take a look at that very shortly. The February quality of life update will bring we tweak the test for memories so that future burials will result in deceased duplicates portrayed being displayed on their headstones. Really? <laughs> That's one of the changes? 
<laughs> oh, that's funny as hell. Uh, I really hope I don't need to use one of those memorials today, but we will see. Uh, we have plenty of water, we have plenty of dirt. Let's build us 10 mush bars, let's give it a high priority. Um, yep, we're waiting for the materials. They should be brought relatively soon with a number 8. Right here, our hatch is coming in, that's very good. Uh, did you turn off consumables for raw eggs so uh, they make sure it gets made into omelets first? No, I haven't. Um, haven't really looked at that yet. The reason is that we only made one single one. Um, we don't really have anything else other than the ones that are currently right here. So, yeah. We may have to sacrifice those, though. So we may have to do that. It's probably not a bad idea, honestly. So, let's turn it off. Uh, shouldn't I be able to turn them all off at once? I guess I can do that. Or it will be automatically done for new dupes now up here in the top. But all the ones that we have, I have to do it manually. So no raw egg will be eaten. And our omelet right here will be made also with a number 8 and we should be able to get us 69 kilocalories how many eggs do we have let's see oh it doesn't tell me does it oh well he's just gonna make us two of them because i do i do see four should be okay just click on a food picture Oh, how did I never know that? I have always done it manually. <laughs> That's actually funny. Okay, well, that works. Everything else, eat whatever you can find. Um, it is necessary for right now, there is no question. But we are going to take two of those eggs right here. And we are going to crack them. Otherwise, I am truly worried. We have not a hell of a lot coming in here right this second. Thermia, of course, we're at 14% stress, so I'm not worried about it. Insufficient oxygen generation, I'm not worried about that either. Um, so yeah, let's uh, dig up a few more of uh, those wonderful tiny little buried objects right here and see if we get something good out of it. We have plenty of oxygen in our base, I believe. Yes, we're doing just fine. No need yet to dig up this oxalite right here at all. I think we are doing just fine. Come on. Does somebody feel like building this space heater as soon as this farm tile here is done, please? That would be highly appreciated. We need to pump more heat into this area, and we need to do it rather quickly. Have we made anything yet? Yes, we have eight mush bars, very good. And isn't there another one? Um, let me see. I don't remember what's actually being made in here. Nosh beans don't have any of those. We have the mush fry, that's right. And Kionis just said it in chat as well. Wonderful. We can get the mush fry out of it, so let's do that. And then once again, we're gonna go to consumables and say the mush bar. We're gonna turn it off, and only the fried mush will be made. The only problem is we don't have a grilling skill. That is a problem. Do we have a dupe for that? Well, let's take a look here. Unfortunately, we don't. All we have is Deer Guard. We may have to use Deer Guard to be our cook here temporarily. That truly sucks. Because I don't want to waste this point. But the truth is, in the long run, it really doesn't matter. So, let's do that. Research is currently turned off because we are in survival mode and not in advanced or advancement mode, if you want. Uh, at the moment, it's all about staying alive and not losing a dupe. And as soon as we out of this tiny little hiccup right here, we should be good to go. Finally call, uh, called your stream beer. Luigi, welcome. Thank you very much. And Kartoffel is here as well. It's really nice to see you guys. How are you all doing? <clears throat> okay, what else do we have here? It's okay, he can handle it. As a matter of fact, I'm not lying. I'm appreciating all of your guys' hints and tips because, I mean, again, I, I haven't played the game in six months. I haven't touched it a single time until the last stream uh, since my last video that is on my YouTube channel. By now about 160 or so days old, I believe. So I have probably uh, more forgotten than uh, most players with 100 hours know. 
and uh, that's definitely a problem. I have played so many other games just for my own mental health in the meantime, uh, just to get away and just play some silly games that don't need a lot of thinking. You know, every once in a while you do need that kind of thing. Uh, cable overloaded sometimes. Yes, you are right. Thankfully, I already took care of that in the beginning. I built a second one. People were asking me why. I knew that would be coming. I just didn't realize it would be quite this early. <laughs> so now we're going to go four up. We're going to come over here. We are going to build us a wire bridge and another wire. And then we come all the way here to the top and we connect this right side up and cut it off from the left side, which will solve all of our energy problems in a heartbeat. Always good to be ready and anticipate future problems when you can. The new quality of life update is coming soon. Yes, we have talked about that actually just a second ago. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> well, if we call the electric grill a Traeger instead, we'll be fine. If you expect me to use a stove, we are in trouble, though. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. Sorry, just showing... Oh, no worries at all. No worries at all. Um, uh, yeah, no, the guys in chat have already told me um, about a few very nice updates. That is definitely a good thing. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, do we have a release date yet? Again, I have not looked into that at all. Oh, that's cool. Was well, thinking about starting a game with the same C2. Uh, go for it. I have a few people in my Discord that have apparently already tried it and went a, a lot further than I did. And uh, the, they're saying, and I quote here, without trying to spoil it, this seems to be a pretty good seed. So, that's good. I guess. I guess we will see. Because I have not looked at any of the posts, any of the pictures that they posted or anything like that. Um, but yeah, seems like that a few people are enjoying the seed very much. Magenta is here at work, unfortunately, just tamed a methane volcano, but wanted to drop in and say hello. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Put all the heaters on a different electric line. Yes, that is basically the general idea. Well, those two here will stay for right now, but they will be torn out very soon anyway. But yeah, for right this moment. But yeah, right this moment. Um, as soon as this here is hooked up, it should be okay. Smoke detector, indeed. Apparently my girlfriend is cooking. <laughs> uh, let's cut this here off. Let's give it a higher priority. There we go. We need those uh, online really, really quickly. Why haven't you done any uh, oxygen not included? Uh, any oxygen not included videos for long, no more time to play? Yes, that is exactly what my problem was. I didn't have any time really to uh, play the game and especially make videos. You know, um, I don't know how many people here in chat have tried to make a video before, but usually to record about a, let's say a 30 minute tutorial video, it takes about, or it takes me at least about two, two to three hours of actual recording time and then probably another 8 to 10 hours of um, editing. And usually it's the editing that is extremely time consuming and um, I just didn't have time. I moved, I got a job, I uh, got promoted at my job, better to say, not a new job. And yeah, there's a lot going on that uh, takes up a lot of my time. And therefore I didn't really have the time anymore that I needed for YouTube and I had to take a break. But I hope I'm back. And I hope I can come up with a different solution, which is live streaming, which is less time consuming and a little bit more casual than actual videos. So that should work. I can understand that. Did some videos for space engineers or coding in the game. Um, I have heard of space engineers. I've never played it. But yes, then you can definitely feel or understand um, how much work it actually takes to make a YouTube video like people don't usually people don't realize it until they try it themselves including myself 
Um, I also didn't think it would be as much work as it is. And of course, it always looks easy looking out from the outside. But until you do it yourself, then it looks a lot different, like with most things in life. All right, right here, we are getting up in temperature. Almost out of the negatives in here, up in the front, we're looking better. That shouldn't take long to heat this area here up. But right at the moment, we have two starving dupes. We need to do something about that right away. All right, we need to up the priority and we need to, let's see, what is an easy way to try to dig some of these here up here, for example. We can just dig straight through. We can dig up right, well, actually, that's a bad idea. We have all the water right there and I don't want to deal with that. Let's take a look over here. We can go. That is an easy solution. Let's dig into here and let's just come through here. Of course, that will destroy our farm for just a second, but we can dig up these tiles right there. And as soon as we have them, we just put a wall in and that should do it. All right, body temperature is increasing. We're getting there, but at the moment we have to limp along. What else can we do? Oh, look at this here. Did we look at this one here last time? I don't think so. Let's see what we have hidden behind this uh, little door right here. Where is it priority? That is a minor volcano. Oh, we can definitely do some fun stuff with that thing later. But right at this moment, we are just gonna dig straight through. Um, all the way through as a matter of fact, and build us a little bit of a ladder. Something like this here should get the job done. And we're gonna get us this thing here as quickly as we can to get this food out of there. Do we have other ones? We have another one down here. We can just dig all the way into here. That's fine. Do we have any more excellent fruits? Don't want to kill our Pokeshells, at least not yet. Eventually they will have to die, but at the moment they should be okay. And we found another one over here. Look at that. Slowly but steadily we are uncovering the map. And we have another minor volcano. Uh, maybe I understand now while people are saying this could be a fun seed. Let's dig down here as well. This one here, unfortunately, will take some time because it's just a single ladder that comes down. Not optimal. That is usually time consuming, but we are going to give it a higher priority of a 7. Over here, we also make it a 7. And up here on the right side, that's a 9. That's the highest priority. There we go. Uh, drop water on the farm tiles to raise the temperature if the water is above 10 degrees. Yeah, unfortunately, we are far away from 10 degrees. Well, over here we are at almost 10 degrees, I guess, but most of our water is far below that and basically freezing down here. Um, which, again, we need to get the water in this area right here so we can actually heat it up. That would be the master plan, um, but we're not there yet. Uh, I appreciate the possibility to view the streams later. Just as good in my eyes as the normal video. Oh, I truly appreciate that. <laughs> that is very, very nice to say. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, but yeah, absolutely the VODs are available and I am trying to come up with a way to upload them again in smaller chunks because, you know, three, four hours at a time, which is the amount of time that I am trying to stream at one time when I stream. Like today, I'm planning a four hour stream. Um, it is a lot at once. I know, because I don't just make YouTube videos, I also watch YouTube, obviously. So yeah. Am I the only one lagging? Uh, okay, let me take a look here. Yes, we are dropping some frames. I don't know what's going on with my internet provider. It was already a problem when I started the stream, which is why I was a couple of minutes late. Um, not entirely sure. It's sunny outside, there's nothing going on. Unless somebody hit a damn pole or something. I don't really have an explanation for it. I hope we can make it through it. If not, I have to switch over to my backup internet connection, which is also always an option. But at the moment, I will try for a, a few more minutes. Louis Chi says, oh, well, I will build a whole insulated tile rectangle around my base to stop the cold from entering. Um, you can do that, and that is certainly a way to do it. I usually solve that problem with water on Rhyme. Um, you will see here, well, not shortly, but 
soon. Let's say soon seems to be a fair thing to say. Um, uh, what exactly I mean with that? Here, yeah, we are a little bit low on the frames. We are ex actually extremely low on the frames right now. Dropping a frames about 11% currently. That is not good. I can chop up video with iMovie Maker. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about doing something like a pre recorded intro and outro and just cut the videos literally in four pieces and, uh, call it a day more or less that would be a simple solution um certainly something that i'm thinking about okay let's see here we are back up to an upload speed of forty-one thousand kilobytes per second which should be good now i hope uh because my standard setting is thirty-five thousand. we are at 40 so should be okay Our growth here, negative 7.7, .7, negative 10.1. We are not retaining as much heat in here as I would hope, at least not as quickly as I would hope. Yeah, those spe space heaters are unfortunately extremely inefficient, um, but it's the best that we have right now. Truly, truly sucks, I'm not gonna lie about it. I also hate to see this thing here. How about somebody comes and repairs that real quick? That would be highly appreciated. But other than that, what else can we do in the meantime? Dig up this tile right here, of course. Anything else that is easily reachable? Yes, one here, one here, one here. Uh, let's dig these two up and these two up. It's the best that we have right now. And then, of course, up here in the top, we have our natural gas geyser that we will use also uh, to generate a little bit of heat, but also mainly power. Eventually, we will take a look at that. I also just saw the morb. Yeah, the morb will have to die later, morb. And also, we need to up uh, the priority on our toilets here a little bit, or we will have a problem with that very, very soon. I only up to one of them, but not the other two. Come on, Morb, die. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> Always like to see their little heads explode. Our storage bins with ice are filled to the brim. Oh my god. Okay, let's dig these two out and then two more storage bins down here on the bottom. We just need to get them out of the way for right now. That's all it takes. How are we currently looking? Is it still lagging for you guys? Uh, YouTube says it's okay. I just want to make sure that you guys are okay as well. Is there a good reason you don't match uh, things to outhouses? Um, yes, there is a good reason. I do have a mod installed that allows queues for uh, sinks, so it's not really needed to have one for each, at least not in the beginning, because even if there are three dupes in the outhouses, they will just queue up here for the wash basin. I don't know if that mod is still needed. Maybe that's a function in the game right now, but it should work just fine. Eventually, Right over here, uh, this here will be the layout of the, our wonderful uh, bathrooms and bedrooms. A bathroom here in the back and then two singular bedrooms in the front. And that is what we're going to build all around here. That is going to be good for our dupes. So with this setup right here, we just need to build five of them high up to right around here. And we have enough for 10 dupes. Eventually, we will expand that to a different area of the base. But that is going to be the short to medium term plan. Not a piece of muck root, another 800 calories. We're up to 13,000. Uh, that will get us by a little bit longer. I don't say I, I don't dare say anything because the last time I did it tanked again. Pretty sure that it wasn't your fault. Pretty sure. I mean, I can't absolutely rule it out, but chances are low that it was your fault. <laughs> Two more excellent fruits coming out of right there very soon. Very good. Slowly but steadily. I hope our base is somewhat stabilizing here. Like I said, last time around I paid... I had so much fun talking to you guys that I didn't really pay too much attention to the game itself. And this is the result. Here we are. Uh, we are dying from starvation. But 
eventually I hope I will become a better streamer and I should be able to pay attention to you guys and play the damn game at the same time. That would be good. Okay, over here. We also need to get through here. There's probably a, a lot of um, um, food hidden in here as well, as well as this excellent fruit right there. So we need to up the um, priority just a notch. Let's give it a number six in digging all across here. And we're gonna actually up everything to a six over here. So this first layer here will get dug out ASAP. That would be very nice. And let's speed it up through the night a little bit. Oh, the water was freezing. Yeah, yeah, the water is freezing right here. I was thinking there's a lot of food in here or something, and then I realized it was ice, and I was like, yeah, no, that's actually my water that's freezing. <laughs> that's why we need to get it into this insulated area right here as soon as we can. And now the dupes will actually come by. The stress will go up slightly. Uh, we will have to monitor that because they are running around in the cold water, gonna have hypothermia, they're gonna have uh, yucky lungs because of the carbon dioxide and all the other shit that's in here. Well, actually, there's only carbon dioxide. I'm not entirely sure what they're complaining about. But they will also have the sopping wet debuff and whatnot. Definitely a, a lot of uh, different things going on here. We just need to get to this excellent fruit here. That would be a priority. Keone says I'm blaming YouTube. Yes, 100%. <laughs> it's definitely not Comcast's fault. How could it be? <laughs> negative 7.7, .7, negative 6.1. Slowly, slowly but steadily. Now space heater here is at 13, here at 8 degrees. And down here on the bottom, how much coal do we have? Plenty. We have 20 tons in here. Let's copy those settings over here. Very good. It's also still extremely cold down here, so we don't have to worry about a damn thing all the way on the bottom. Very, very good. Calm crooks? Yes, those are the people. Very BB are talking the same language here, for sure. But it's the best I have. I do have a second internet provider. Um, don't ask why. <laughs> Standard things. But um, if all else fails, I can switch over to a, uh, another internet provider here in the house. And uh, I hope that one of the two can get their shit together and allow me to stream. Alright, most of the stuff that I told them to dig out is dug up. Up here on the top we have a few more, but we are at 13,000 kilocalories. That should hold us over forever for a couple of cycles. Right here. And of course, right here, how did I forget that? And down here on the bottom, we have still a six out of eight. In here we have currently nothing, which is okay. And right here we have excellent fruit, meal, lice, uh, we still have omelette and mackerel. What we don't have anymore is mush bars. I'm gonna tell him to make another, let's say 20 of them or so. I don't want to make too much, honestly. Uh, gotta be a little bit more careful. Our pitcher pump right here is also running out. Eventually, we will have to relocate it to right there. So let's get rid of those two. Gonna do that a little bit earlier. Eventually, it has to go further down as well because we are not going to fill all this here up in the beginning. But eventually, the idea is to have this entire area here full with water because we have so much ice, it shouldn't be a problem at all to get that done. Yeah, they're pretty bad. I have a brother in Las Vegas and I have better fiber internet in a rural area in North Dakota than he is in Vegas. I'm not stuck with Comcast. Well, uh, that is actually my second connection. My second connection is fiber. Um, and I thought it would solve all my problems. The problem is just, it doesn't. It is actually more spotty and more laggy than Comcast in about, I would say 80% of all cases. Therefore, I kept my Comcast, and I use it now exclusively for uh, YouTube. And uh, everything else in the house is powered by the fiber. So I can switch over to the fiber connection, but usually, again, it is more spotty than Comcast is, which, yeah, crazy, isn't it? Cinnamon Knight caught you live! Yes, you sure as hell did. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? <laughs> 
Uh, the pitcher pump needs to go here because we can't reach anything with this thing here anymore. By now the water level is low enough, therefore we can't get any more water to our micro musher and once we turn it back on to our supercomputer either. Which is of course a problem. And our flower pot, I forgot to plant something in here. That thing has been sitting here probably for about 10 cycles. Um, yeah. Five dollars from Cinnamon Night Entertainment. Thank you very much for the support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Logan Eagle says, same here. Good to be able to catch you live, Beards here. That is amazing. It's really good to see you guys, especially if you join for the first time. Um, if it says stream ended, I can guarantee you this stream will not end. I started at 3.30 and I plan on streaming for four hours. The stream is not going to end before that. And even if my current internet is making trouble and we are losing more frames here, I will switch over to my backup internet connection. So don't you worry guys, if you lose connection, just press F5 on your browser. If you're on a computer, of course, or you refresh on your phone or whatever device you're using, and it should be back up in absolutely no time. Um, yeah. Even though I am just a tiny little streamer, I certainly have a second internet connection available. <laughs> I am fantastic. I've always loved your content. Heck, I started playing this game thanks to you. Oh, that makes me love you even more. I, I truly love to hear that kind of thing. If people try this game, which I truly, truly love, I mean, this is probably out of my all-time favorite games, the all-time favorite game. Um, definitely the game that I have the most hours in, that's for sure. Um, it's always nice to hear when I can't help somebody out, or if somebody even starts the game due to watching my content. So that is really, really great. Um, Logan says, well, he pronounced my last name right first try with zero prompting. Impressive. I mean, I am German, right? <laughs> Sweep the cold debris from the farm times. They are really cold. Oh, yeah, crap. I forgot about that. You are 100% correct. That needs to be done. The only problem is that I have nowhere to put all this stuff. Let's fix that right away. Because we have researched the automatic dispenser. The only question is, what are we going to do with it? Um... What would be a nice location for a storage? Let me take a look around. We could theoretically just slap it down here. I mean, there's really nothing stopping us. We can go all the way over here, something like this. Then we are going to put, let's say, two tiles right here and two tiles right there. And then right here, we are going to come down something like this here. Yes, that'll do. It was one too many tiles. And actually, no, that's perfectly fine right there. We need to then grab two automatic dispensers. One, not like this uh, rotation is with O in this game. I guess, told you guys, I haven't played in a long time. And that should get the job done. I'm gonna take this out so we can get over. And this one here has to be done with a extremely high priority. I need to get this here done because this here is going to be our infinite storage. Eventually we will plop some water in here uh, to help with the outgassing. Not worried about that right now. But yes, this here is going to be the very simple and very basic infinite storage for a solid object setup. At least I remember that. I'm actually proud of myself here. <laughs> JZK says, Deine Uni Videos sind echt super hilfreich. Danke für den tollen Content. Uh, let me translate that for all you non-German speaking people in the chat. He said, thank you very much. Uh, for the good content, your oxygen not included videos are super helpful. And I truly appreciate that, Jay-Z. Thank you very much. That is, um, that makes me really happy. Um, it, it really does. That is not a joke. But it's an Irish origin name. Oh, well, I mean, Irish is still closer to Germany than, uh, than to the United States, so I guess that helps. <laughs> All right, guys, get it done. We're gonna set the automatic dispenser on the right here. Let me pause the game real quick. There's a lot of noise going on here. We're gonna set it to all, but we are not going to put everything in there. Critter eggs, for example, not gonna go in there. Liquefiables, not gonna go in there. Um, everything else for right now, organic stuff. Yeah, you know what, algae, we don't wanna put in there either. Really, well, we can. It doesn't really 
sorry, it doesn't really hurt anything or nothing. Basically, anything can go in there, just not critter eggs. Um, coal, we can always grab it back out of there. For this very moment, that's fine. We're going to set it to sweep only. We're going to copy the settings over to the other one. And now you can see that all of these uh, little uh, icons here turned uh, white. So now we're going to get it out. And now as soon as this here is built, then you're just going to plop it into the automatic dispensers. And right here, uh, we are not going to turn it off. We are suppress current, suppress current. Pretty sure that's also a mod, if I'm not mistaken. We can just turn off that it's constantly complaining about not having any power hookups because it will never ever get any power. Thank you for helping this poor American who only took two years of German understand the Deutsche <laughs> being typed in. Of course, um, obviously, the language of my videos is English, there's no question, and I don't have a problem with people writing in chat or in the comments on my videos in German. But if you're live streaming and somebody writes something in German, I will make an effort to translate it because I just think it's fair if everybody understands it. Um, and that's the only two languages I speak, so don't come here with Spanish, I can't help you with that. <laughs> I took Spanish in high school just because it's easier and I need all the help I can get because I'm stuck at learning language and still had to retake it for a year. I mean, learning a, a different language purely in school, may it be German or English or Spanish or whatever other second language you want to learn, is not easy. Uh, there's no question about it. It's absolutely no joke to learn a different language with, uh, you know, different syntax and everything. It's um, a lot of people underestimate that. Let's see. Let's get rid of this debris here. And I hope that will help out a little bit with our temperature in here. Slowly but steadily, more of our meal wood up here is, of course, dying. Uh, that is, of course, okay, though, because our space heater only has so much range. Uh, DT on the left probably can't do a hell of a lot for them. But let's take a look at the blueprints. All right. We have uh, three uh, wonderful dupes available here. We have a Devon. We have decorating, a doctoring, and researching. We do still need a decorator, though. Um, but really not that badly that we need to have an increased ladder. Marie right here has building, farming, and tidying. That is certainly something that looks good, but needs more calories. And that is most definitely something that we can't use right this very second. We are at 11,000. You can barely see it up here, but it's still not optimal. But right here we have Bert. He can create masterworks. He has increased medicine, which is uh, completely pointless, and increased churn resistance, which is also completely pointless, and 50% less uh, running speed. Uh, we may have to wait out one more cycle. These dupes here are just not optimal. None of them is what we need this second. I mean, I would be really interested in Marie, but the bottomless stomach, we cannot waste an extra 500 calories right this second. Therefore, we're gonna go to Mirthleaf Seed, and we're just gonna grab him because it's better than nothing. There's that. Uh, what kind of engineer are you, uh, by the way? Kind of curious, and thanks for the videos. Oh, you are absolutely welcome. Thank you very much for joining the stream. I am a process engineer specialized in injection molding in rubber and plastics, to be very precise. But I also had a brief three and a half, four year stint in industrial automation. Um, the industrial, industrial automation part was self-taught though. And I do not have a degree or anything else to show for in that field. But still, I uh, was allowed to call myself for almost four years a industrial automation engineer. Just waiting to find the Rosetta Stone for dupish. <laughs> yeah, right. Fun fact, had my mom helped me memorize Spanish vocabulary, but her side of the family are all French Francophiles. I don't even know what that means. Who studied French in school. Okay, that's what that means. So I ended up speaking my Spanish with a French accent. Well, that is funny, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, the debris is helping. Soon our plants here should be okay. Maybe we could have afforded Marie after all. Ah, well, what is done is done. Never underestimate the power of German engineering. Exactly. 
Exactly. If it's not over-engineered, it's not fun anyway, right? Where in Germany are you living? I am actually not living in Germany. I'm actually living in the United States. I have been living in the States since 2012. I moved here when I was 21. Um, I used to live just outside of Munich in Germany. That is where I'm originally from. Um, Logan says, idea should you set up a storage locker, maybe with a high priority, at least for unrefined and refined metals as well as maybe coal, so that they don't get eaten by any wild hatches. I hope we don't have any wild hatches, because if I see another one, then we will wrangle that thing. Um, other than that, I would agree with that. We actually have one for coal down here. We probably need another one, to be quite honest. Let's plop one in. This here is our coal storage. It's currently 17.8 tons in it. And down here on the bottom, I just put in some temporarily for ice and snow. Uh, these two on the left here are full 2D brim. And on the right side, we have a little bit more capacity, just so we can get rid of the ice and snow in our base before it melts somewhere where we don't need it. The last piece here is almost gone, and then we can concentrate on this area here again, I hope. Guys, let's speed it up a little bit so we can actually get something done here. Like, usually I'm playing at five uh, times speed if I'm playing by myself. <laughs> I'm not used to the dupes just uh, crawling around here. Uh, but yes, they are coming back over here. Picking up the snow and ice and getting rid of it. Of course, that is a little bit of a problem because it could actually stay over here. But as soon as we make it finally to the ground, we have two storage bins set up down here on the bottom that are specifically for that purpose. And we will have more than that eventually. Any special reason why you left Germany? It was purely for work. Um, I was just done with schooling and uh, working for a company and the company asked me if I want to go to the United States for two years to help them uh, optimize their plant. And I was like, hell yeah, definitely gonna do that. Looks great on my resume. Uh, yeah, that was 12 years ago, almost in November this year. It will be 12 years. And we see somehow I'm still here. <laughs> just happened to be this way. Can anybody explain to me how this year got built? Didn't I set all of this here to a number one priority? Who in their right mind thought that this is a great idea with everything else going on in this space? Good God. Uh, sometimes those dupes, I'm wondering about them. You saw the decline of industries in Germany beforehand. No, I didn't see that coming. It's really sad, but yeah, it's happening for damn sure. Uh. Duplicant skills, what can we do? We have Cassiopeia here, who can probably get into field research. I do want to make an astronomer out of her and eventually get her into rocket piloting down here. But for right this second, you know what? We're going to leave her alone. It is okay for right this second. We are not researching anything, so it doesn't matter. Chim down here, though, he will get electrical engineering. We will definitely get those extra plus two machinery. We will need those for the mechatronics engineering. So there you go. Jim, you will also get a new hat, of course. Uh, electrical engineering. And Killjoy right here will get critter ranching too. That's what we have been waiting for. Finally, we can ranch more efficiently. And then right here we have Nathan Ray and he is our digger. Fortunately, we can't go down the super duper hard digging right now because we will kill his morale and we don't want to do that. There we go. Eventually, we will have to, you know what, let's take a quick look. In the colony summary, obviously, this is not an achievement run in any way, shape or form. I'm sure you figured that one out yet. But we can still take a look what we have done and if there are any new ones that I may maybe not even know about. We have two pay the bills, use a duplicate skill points to buy out an entire branch of the skill tree. We have outdoor renovations, construct a building outside the initial starting biome. It's not raw, have a duplicate, any cooked meal prepared an electric grill or gas range. We have at least one toilet in the colony and a bed for every duplicate. Of course we do. And red light, green light, automate a building using sensors or switches from the automation tab in the building menu or you will get shot. Oh wait, no, that was a different series. But yeah, those are the achievements that we currently have. Wonderful. Now, 
Okay, 2.7 degrees. We are in the positives in F3. We can see it is getting slightly more green around here. We are certainly getting there. Okay, just maybe another cycle or two and we should be fine. Kremlin 2424 with five British pounds. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate that. I just want to have it said, guys. Um, no monetary compensation for me is necessary in any way, shape or form. I just appreciate that you guys are here. But if you're feeling compelled like Gremlin here or earlier Cinnamon Night Entertainment, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And of course, I will make sure that as soon as we have the capacity to get in another dupe, I will make sure that those dupes will be named after you. There is absolutely no question. But yeah, it is night. Let's fast forward through the night. We only have two dupes working at night. Not a hell of a lot is going on here. We need to get this here out, guys. You know what? Let's screw it. Number nine priority. I want to get down here. And I want to do it rather earlier than later. Come on, let's get it done. Sick and tired of waiting. We need to get down here and we need to do it quickly. Yeah. The natural gas geyser has fallen a little bit to the wayside, but we are good to go because over here we have polluted water. I mentioned it in the last stream, if you've been here. If not, I will reiterate it. Polluted water has a freezing point of negative 20.6 degrees, so it is a wonderful addition for a liquid lock that we can build right here to keep our natural gas where it belongs. That is the general plan here. Yeah, we could do it with water, but of course, at negative 23.3 degrees, that is a problem. A big problem at that. Even our um, polluted water will have some trouble, but until it cools down to that temperature, it's not going to be an issue. Another $2 from Zen saying you can always just go with Zen. That certainly makes it a hell of a lot easier. Thank you very, very much. I truly appreciate it. Okay. Uh, copy the settings over right here to the storage bin. That is amazing. Our coal generators are still okay. Our wires are still okay. Potential load 960. And the one behind here, 480. Of course, we have nothing on here but the rock rush and the space heater. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure I missed a bunch of uh, messages in chat here. Let me take a look. I was wondering with the new 1000 kilogram gas storage of putting in a buffer between O2 generation and the vents in populated areas or just in case events. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. you did mention that earlier. I saw that even before the stream started, I believe uh, that they upped it. Um, let's take a look here in ventilation. No, in base, we have the gas reservoir. Currently it holds what, 300 kilograms? Only 150. Oh my God, yeah. That's why nobody were using these things because the amount of space that they're taking up it's just stupid for 150 kilograms and you're saying they're upping that to a thousand kilograms i mean for the amount of space they're taking up that is still it's better than nothing don't get me wrong here but it's still not a lot right but that's definitely better than nothing yeah i, I can't say it any different way it makes it definitely um a more viable option uh, compared to an infinite storage than it is right now I'm so anal about metals in this game since it's so limited until you start taming volcanoes at least, which you might not have. Um, we actually do right here. We are ready to go. We already have a discovered iron volcano, which is right below our uh, power production. Uh, we are just waiting for it to, well, it's waiting for us, I guess, <laughs> I guess to get ready to tame it because we are nowhere near there, but we do have at least one volcano available to us. Uh, one of my top priorities is always getting the metal refinery up and running simply due to its one-to-one -one no waste ratio and converting metals to refined metals yes that is usually um also in my priority list pretty high even though i usually start out with stone hatches just because they're much easier to obtain um and until you get all the way down to the uh, magma area if you have one if you don't have a frozen core that is of course um it's just a lot faster to get stone hatches than anything else 
and usually you have more than enough uh, sedimentary rock laying around. Speaking of the devil, right here we have some, for example, um, to get your stone edges made in absolutely no time. Any plan for the volcanoes? I always want to between petroleum boiler and use the lava for geothermal energy. I don't know yet. I mean, we just discovered them. Honestly, we have one right here, which is a minor volcano, and we have another one right here, which is also a minor volcano. Um, on Rhyme, we will definitely use one of them for power, or better to say, for heat generation. There's no question. Uh, it is certainly going to come in handy, especially since this one here is right beside our water. So we should be able to finagle something over there. But we will see how that goes. Um, looks like you wiped well with the US. Yes, one could say so. <laughs> there is no dupe Einstein. <laughs> I left Germany also in 2015. Okay, uh, well, let me ask you, what was your reason for leaving Germany? And where did you go? Uh, what else do we have going on? I was in Germany 95, Munich and the general Bavaria area. I mean, I may be biased, but it is the best area. Um, no matter where you go in Germany, it's nowhere as beautiful as in Bavaria, especially in the Bavarian forest and around the Munich area. Uh, don't tell that my northern colleagues, though. <laughs> Isn't it hard to use liquids that outgas for liquid locks? Mm, not really, depending on what you're doing. Um, right here, it will be a little bit of an issue. I already have a solution for that as well, though, because it will try to outgas into our natural gas area right here. But for right now, um, the um, polluted water over here will get the trick done because our choice is really having no liquid lock or having one that outgasses. And I'd rather have one that gasses before I have no liquid lock. Uh, at least until we find some sort of oil, for example, that would work. Liquid chlorine is not suitable. Salt water is freezing at negative 7.5 degrees. It would probably get the job done. We can try it. We can try it with salt water. If I put it into insulated tiles, it should be okay. Grew up for six years in Germany as an American army dependent. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I have actually met a lot of people here in the States that have been to Germany or even grew up there due to their parents being in the army or being in the army themselves, respectively. Okay, let's take a look into our room overlay. Yes, we have the Great Hall boost now. These here are still uh, latrines. Not entirely sure what happens when we dig the rest out. <laughs> um, what is the maximum for a latrine? Let's take a look here. Latrines have a maximum of 64 tiles. Yeah, that is going to be 96. So maybe I should not yet dig those up. That's probably the solution to the problem. Other than that, right in here, the credit drop-off still has 6 in it. Please open it up. Thank you. Yep, 6 out of 8. That is okay. So far, so good. And down here on the bottom, these storage bins here. We will copy the settings over here. Are now also for ice. They're a lot closer, so all this ice should be stored now down here and not be dragged all the way down here anymore. Oil is frozen on rhyme. It's a pain. Yes, um, again, there's something we can do with our water right here, for example, to get it to unfreeze. We don't need a lot of it, at least not in the beginning. Um, but yeah, there is most definitely um, options for that. But it is a pain. Couldn't agree more. What is that thing that pops up here once in a while? It's so quick that I can't see it. Maybe one of you guys has noticed it. A friend of mine was from Trier, not terribly close, but closer to northern Germany. <laughs> oh, it's starvation. How are you starving, frozen hair? I don't understand. You're literally just sitting right there. How about you get your ass over here and then grab me out of the ration box, whatever the hell you want. We got plenty. <sighs> Sometimes those dupes, I'm telling you. I don't want to start a heated debate about the reasons why I left Germany. In short, I'm not happy with various situations in, in German society and politics. I'm not in the US though, but I'm in Asia. That is totally fine. I mean, to each their own. There are certainly some issues over there. There is absolutely no discussion necessary about it. But yeah, I mean, if, um, if Asia makes you happy, who am I or who are we to judge? 
The natural gas being heavier than air, shouldn't you enter the chamber with the natural gas vent from the top downward? We probably will do something like that. Uh, the thing is though, it doesn't matter. And the reason is that we have five kilograms of pressure in here. No matter where you enter from, the gas will expand and it will go wherever. Um, truly doesn't make that much of a difference, honestly. Not in this situation right here. Also, won't dupe skip the sink if you have three latrines and only one sink? I We can take a look at that. We will see if we can catch it. I do have a mod for that, um, which is called uh, bathroom or sink queues or something like that, where you can have one sink and if three dupes are coming along, they should all queue up behind the wash basin. Um, I haven't actually paid attention if it still works or not, I guess. But maybe we can catch that happening. Um, yeah, not right now, unless what's going over there. Yeah. He just passed by, he didn't care at all. We will see. It should work. Pretty sure there are issues everywhere. Yeah, most definitely there are. The dupes are not the most thought pogos of the box or sharpest knife of the drawer, whichever you prefer. Yes. Uh, that would be a quality of life upgrade. Maybe implement ChatGPT into their brains or something, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. You should be able to maybe see that now. Maybe maybe it doesn't work anymore, I don't know. Again, I haven't played the game in six months. It used to work, I know that for a fact. Is Chim... Yeah, okay. Of course, the other one was just done when Chim was coming along. How else would it be? When we want to see it, it doesn't allow us to see it. Yeah, that's how it goes, isn't it? That's a very nice way to say dupes are generally idiots. Yes, they are. I mean, like I said earlier, you constantly have to watch out that they're not getting stuck anywhere and killing themselves for no particular reason. Uh, let's take another look in here. We could give him super duper hard digging now. Should we though? Yeah, why not? It's definitely good to have it around. The Mathan is now a super duper hard digger, having one of those in the base in case we sit something. Um, so that's probably a good idea. If Iris right here, um, you're currently improved carrying. Yeah, what are we gonna do with you? We could put you... Not entirely sure, we already have a dupe going down the improved tinkering, or better to say the mechatronics tree. What about Elfie Wolf here? We could use... We just got us a second farmer, didn't we? This farming, we have improved farming in Killjoy. And Frozen Hair. Yeah, so we already have two. That is sufficient for right now. Um, we are... That's questionable. You know what? Eventually we will need it. You are going to be our second digger right here. Eventually we only need one for right now. You're going to get improved farming as well. So you can help out with our crops once they are up and running. Which is going to be finally relatively soon. We're down to 8,000 calories again. So we need probably another 10 or 15 mush bars or so. Thankfully, we have enough water and more than enough dirt, so it doesn't really hurt us too much. So for right now, we are looking better and better by the second. Very, very good. We just need to dig all this stuff here up, guys. Um, please put it down here into the storage bin. Of course, the water is now freezing. <laughs> Absolutely, that makes perfect sense. So let's dig across all the way here so we can also put the insulated tiles in. That should help us out with that at least a, a little bit. Uh, I'd be happy with them not attempting... Mm, that's my dog. Not sure what he's hearing. I'd be happy with them not attempting to wall themselves inside structures I'm building like a spawn. Yes, that happens basically every time you try to build any sort of box. Um, like I said, they just are very suicidal creatures. Additionally, should you maybe look into getting a ceiling light on the ceiling over your grill, your rock crusher, your micro mushrooms, etc. It will make them work faster and the heat that generated won't hurt. I agree with the work speed, but the heat though. 
How much heat do they produce? Actually, it's 500 DTU, 0.5 kilo DTU. You know what? Let's do it. Um, unfortunately, the rock rusher here is going to be hard to reach. I believe right here should work because the dupe is standing right here, so that is fine. We can plop another one right there. Um, and the mushroom sure, right here. Doesn't this count? Let workspace. Actually, this here does count because the light is coming out from our printing pod here, I believe. Isn't it? Oh no, it was Cassiopeia that was on there. <laughs> she's lighting herself up. That's hilarious. Yeah, she's literally lighting herself up because she's glowing. <laughs> uh, let's bring that up. Let's bring that up. Yep, definitely a good idea, Logan. Definitely gonna implement that right away, exactly as suggested. Pretty sure the resources allow dupes to only have 10 neurons per unit. <laughs> Sometimes it reminds me of an advanced version of Lemmings. <laughs> That's the best one I've heard so far. Yes. Oh, I love the old Lemmings game. Oh, God. Still nowhere near generating it enough. We need to get our water in. We don't have a choice anymore right here. We need our liquid tepidizer. Where are we? Utilities liquid tepidizer. We are going to build one directly out of iron right here. And we're going to plop it. Where are we going to build it? We should have enough water to fill it up above here. So we're probably going to put it... Let's see. What is the best way to do this? We're going to put it right here. And then we are going to go to automation. We're going to grab us a thermal sensor. And we're going to put the thermal sensor relatively far away. That allows us to have it somewhat equalizing throughout the entirety of the tank. And we're going to put it over there. We will need power over here as well. So let's grab us a wire. Unfortunately, this thing here sucks up power. 960 watts. So a single wire will be needed just to power this. And then we can put basically nothing else on there. How are we going to do it? Let's take a look here. Um, right here. Let's go one, two, three. Four tiles deep right here would be a, another natural floor to have it four high from our infinite storage. We gotta keep that in mind. That is actually perfect. Um, yeah, a little bit. I want to get a, rid of a little bit more water here. Let's do that. Let's mop this here up so it doesn't lay all the way down here on the floor. And then we're gonna go into plumbing. We're gonna grab us a bottle emptier and plop the bottle emptier right there. Perfectly fine. Ah, well, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna put it over here. Easier and faster to reach for the dupes. And efficiency is what we're here for, right? Uh, most of the time is where the automation spot is on a device that needs to be lighted. Uh, yes, I think right here it's where the dupe is standing. Right here it's in the middle. Right here it's in the middle, if I'm not mistaken. And the egg cracker right here, we're just gonna ignore it for right now. Because we don't have enough eggs to crack, actually, so also not incubating anything currently we just have our hatches here how are you cramped let me check that out we have six critters we have two we have three hatchling eggs that's what the problem is let's move one up here uh, that should get him out of the cramped state i hope and that should hopefully be helpful should have paid attention to the math a little bit more And obviously, if concerned about power consumption, you can always get the, the the dupe sensor automation in place. Yes, can do that, but I'm not worried about the power consumption of the lights. Especially, as you said, 500 kilo DTUs in our case are better than nothing. Only water with a relatively high priority, so I'd actually put it in there. Uh, yeah, slowly but steadily, we are getting somewhere. But a rock crusher, it is in the middle, but the dupe stand on the square to the right. Is it actually in the middle, seriously? It has to be, well, what is the middle? Is it this tile or is it that tile? Because the dupe is standing on this tile right here. And this light here will reach this tile. Well, I guess we will see. I'm just going to plop it up here. Um, I can't put it any further left anyways. Therefore, if the dupe stands there, we're just going to see if the buff is there or not. That should do it. Uh, so you have to light the bottom center spot of the rock crusher, which you did do. I should have read your next message right away as well. Oh my. 
<laughs> you literally gave me the answer I was looking for. Should you also set up a high priority storage locker for LG, since that's your only oxygen source right now and you don't uh, want the hatches eating it? Um, I don't think there's anything in here that they could... Well, up here actually we do have something that, that they could eat. But we don't have any hatches in here yet. Usually, I 100% agree, I usually build one right here, right beside my oxygen diffusers. Usually I have the oxygen diffusers actually build something like this, like one on the left, one on the right. So they are not constantly overpressuring each other. I haven't done that this time because I just wanted it to get done quickly and it's totally fine for right now. But yes, you're correct, we are going to build a storage bin right here. Okay, so far this is looking pretty decent. We are going to up the priority right here. And then we're gonna dig it higher so we can fit more stuff in here, please. And then we're gonna come from the top down with more and more of our wonderful digging. Just strip mining it all the way down and then put in insulated tiles. And also these insulated tiles here on the bottom, didn't I say I want those quicker? Come on, dudes, get your shit together, get it built. There we go. Normal hatches won't eat ore or coal. Yes, they won't, but they will eat algae, don't they? Isn't that something that you can feed them? Uh, let's see, hatches. Are they not eating algae? I thought normal hat. Oh, or is it the sage hatches that, that eat algae? Too many damn hatches around here, I'm telling you. Come on. Um, how fast are we gonna do this move here? Like, what exactly are we waiting for? I don't really see anything getting done. It's also in the middle of the night, so let's fast forward it through that. And it's day again. Hopefully now our dudes will actually do something. That would be very nice. First of all, I need to get those insulated tiles here to keep that water here from getting colder and colder. Because down here on the bottom we are at negative 40 degrees on the abyssalite. Even though that doesn't matter. But we have negative 27 degree ice here. Which will transfer all of this cold energy up to the top. And suck all of the heat out of our water. Sage will eat algae. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was only sage ones. But the main reason to have the storage bin right here, um, right beside the oxygen diffusers is uh, to make it a little bit more efficient. Instead of having a dupe coming up here every time, grabbing a tiny little bit and bringing it down, they just walk past here, grab it out of the storage bin and plop it into the oxygen diffuser. So it's mainly about efficiency and not so much worried about anything eating it, at least for me. That's usually the reason why I do stuff like that. We are also not mopping. If you don't give it a high priority, these guys are absolutely doing nothing. Problem is, of course, also we are filled with carbon dioxide right here, which we will rectify here very, very soon. As soon as we are putting a floor in here, and we are only going to put the floor in here because of the wire, uh, we will open this here up, which will allow most of our carbon dioxide to come over here. And eventually we will build a trap down here in the bottom. So. Of course, this area here will still be filled with carbon dioxide, but eventually most of the carbon dioxide in this area here above the ladders all the way over will disappear down into the hole and get sucked up right there. Sage can be useful if you're trying to get rid of polluted dirt, but I don't bother with them. I have never bothered with them once, I believe. I have never seen a good reason to try to farm him on purpose. If one shows up, meh, usually it's good meat, but other than that, <laughs> that's about the extent of it, honestly. Exactly, then you can make it even more efficient once you unlock the single favorite component in the game, the Auto Sweeper. I agree with that 100%. I'm a big fan of the auto sweeper myself and I use it wherever I can. Yeah, you can see here, we are actually freezing because we have a tiny little bit of oxygen in here at negative 23 degrees and it is freezing our damn water. So yeah, that is a problem. Come on guys, get rid of the water here, please. Uh, let's give it a pickup command with a level seven priority. Get rid of all the stuff. As soon as uh, most of that's gone, most of the water here at least, we will be putting in the floor right here. 
May already get started a four high tunnel. Something just like this here. Also with a six priority. There we go. Let's get this in. That should allow the exchange from going left to right right here. And then we can slap our wire in there as well. Speaking of wire though, first the wire has to come from somewhere, right? Therefore, we will need um, one more of our um, power transformers here. You know what? Actually, let's cancel that. We should be able to already build a large one. We will need it eventually anyway. So we're going to get ready for it. Eventually, we will upgrade our wires. We don't have quite enough yet to do that. So we're still going to go with the normal wires. It is not worth it to use the rock crusher for wiring alone. Therefore, I'm going to hook this here up. And then we're going to come um, two, three, four high. And yeah, we can come through here and then just up right around here. And then right there is where we have to eventually come over. We can come all the way to right there for now and get rid of this one. There we go. And eventually, well, you know what? Screw it, as a matter of fact. Uh, this ice here will melt eventually. But we are okay. We can put a wire in here. Yeah, nothing stopping us from doing so. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's go. We do have a little bit of lead. Do I? Didn't see that. Okay, well, I can build a whole four tiles of it. <laughs> that is uh, not quite enough. We would have to dig up some more. We would have to find some more. Um, haven't really paid attention too much where we can find any. We have gold right here. Right here we have aluminum ore. Uh, more iron, more iron. Bunch of aluminum ore. That's gonna come in handy though. That's very good to see actually. I didn't pay too much attention what kind of ores we have around here. But yeah. Here we have a little bit more, but it's really not much. We can grab it, but it's still not going to help us. <laughs> because it's, these are 100 kilograms a tile, so which means we will have 50 kilograms that we actually get once we dig it up. Not optimal. Let me put it that way. But yeah, getting this liquid tepetizer here up would be really nice. We're going to send a green signal if the temperature is below 7 degrees. That is actually perfectly fine. We don't need it super hot or anything. We just want to keep it from freezing. Even 5 degrees are totally fine. Um, right at the moment, it's just about keeping it from freezing. And when we put ice into here, hopefully melting that slowly but steadily over time. That is all we need for right now. Uh, once we put a pump in here and we actually pump it through the entire base, we want to have it a little bit warmer than that, of course. But for right now, that is all we need. We also don't want to waste too much power. We only have three cold generators right here, which only put out a total of 1,800 watts. So, need to be a little bit careful, unless we want to, quote-unquote, waste even more coal, like we do here for our space heaters. And look at that, the first two are finally online at a whooping 10.2 degrees, but 10.2 are better than 9.2, so we definitely take that all day long. <clears throat> Over here, the top is now dug out, at least mostly, so once again, with a number nine priority, so it actually gets done. We're gonna dig all the stuff here out four tiles high at a time, so the dupes can comfortably reach it and don't leave anything behind. That is the general plan right here. Why are we not putting anything in here actually? Oh, because currently you're sitting on a missing tile, of course. That would be a valid reason, I guess. Also our wire right here needs to have a higher priority. So let's do exactly that. Something like this here should get the job done. There we go. Let's speed through uh, this tiny little section right here. Um, what is the setting right here? A7. Okay, and over here we are also at a 7. Why don't you put it in here? That would be the shorter way for you. I am actually a little bit uh, suppressed about that. 
is it because of the carbon dioxide? But there's just as much carbon dioxide on the other side too. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the reasoning is for the loops here. But you never know with those things, I guess. Let's give it only a 7 for now. And another 4 tiles. Slowly but steadily, we are getting rid of all this stuff right here. Why are you only refilling one and not the other? Really? Come on, guys. What is that? Apparently, oh, we can't refill it because we don't have access to water right now. Well, okay. That makes perfect sense. We need to build it probably well. We need to dig down a little bit further before we have access to water again. Uh, first, we need to see how high our water will actually be um, in the beginning. So, yeah, let's check that out. Probably a good idea. Well, we don't have ladders over there yet. We have to do it this way. It'll be okay, though. It should get done in a relatively short amount of time without too much trouble. The loops, of course, now can't reach this LG here anymore because now we have two tiles right here. But thankfully, something like that can be solved relatively quickly, like this. Now they can come over here again. Eventually, we're going to put in floors in here anyway. All this here will be eventually some kind of production. I'm not entirely sure yet how we're going to do it. Who is starving again? Nathan, you have no reason to starve, Nathan. Just go get yourself some food. Nobody or nothing is stopping you. Uh, sometimes I'm really wondering about those dupes, not going to lie. Not gonna be able to reach that, but that's fine. Come on, dupes, fill up the coal generators. What are you doing? And of course, this year you can't reach, but that's totally fine. Once again, we're gonna grab us another tile, we're gonna go five high, and we're gonna plop in another floor. And all of a sudden, it should be reachable. Just as simple as that, with a priority that is extremely high because I really want to get this here turned on. Our water keeps freezing, as we can see. <laughs> yeah, watching someone do this life who knows what they're doing, okay, is like witchcraft, I swear. Not entirely sure if I would say that I know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe a little bit. <laughs> like if I were to stream six months ago, it may have been slightly more professional than what's going on right here. Ignore the okay, my phone is trying to fight me. <laughs> Come on guys, put in the floors. And then right behind that, of course, our wires. And we should be able to get our tepidizer here online before all of our water freezes, please. Come on guys, two more pieces, dig it up, get it done. I know you currently have no oxygen because we don't have access to water, but if you don't build it, we will also not get any access to water. It's kind of like a snake batting its own tail. Sometimes you must feel like Glados <laughs> testing those dupes, of course. Uh, straight out of Portal. Another game that I love, personally. Not gonna lie about that either. I tend to build slower with more backup so that I don't get into problems. I mean, if you have watched uh, my first or my second uh, Let's Play series, then you know how I usually build if I am just by myself and thinking about nothing but the game. I mean, I'm definitely playing different than I would usually, no question. Being alive is certainly something that I need to get used to. 
And it's just like everything else, I guess, the more you do it, the more you used to become to it. And I think that my playstyle will eventually revert to its uh, normal self the more I go live and be able to talk to you guys. And at the same time, play this wonderful game. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record following by death. Good luck. <laughs> I can I can hear that read out in Gladys's voice. <laughs> Come on, dupes. We have power, don't we? No, we don't. Why do we not have power? Where are we lacking? Oh, you're in the middle. You've got to be joking. Didn't I give that already a number nine? I could have sworn I didn't know I gave it a seven. Come on, guys. Number one priority. Get that damn wiring. All of our water is freezing. And I would really like to melt it back instead of digging it back up, but that will only work if we can power this liquid tapetizer right here. You ever going to continue that second run? I don't know. Because I looked at my second run, and honestly, I forgot about 50%, if not more, of all the stuff that I did there. I don't know if you've ever tried to play Oxygen not included to a very advanced stage and then let it go for a few months and then try to come back. Like trying to figure out what the hell you were thinking yourself and what your next plans were and where you're going from here is, uh, not quite easy. I guess I could try to watch my last video, see what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> and then see if I can go from there, so... Never say never. Let me put it that way. Okay, we have power. The thing is running. It should now overheat our water slightly, which is fine for right now. Better too much than not enough in this case, because our thermosensor over here is, of course, sitting in ice. So until the ice here is gone, uh, this thing here will continue to heat all the way up to 85 degrees. We should see a difference here very quickly. The liquid tapetizer pumps out a ton of heat. So definitely a very, very good thing right at this moment. Definitely what we need right now. And the dupes can go ahead and dig out the rest right here. Let's leave that tile in so they have something to walk on. So first those two and then the last one, which they can read reach from the ground. All right, up here we are also slowly but steadily looking better. Clearing that debris out definitely helped drastically and we're going to do the exact same thing here as well. We're going to clear all this debris into our storage area right here. You can see it, what all we have in here, like 11.2 tons worth of raw stone or raw material, I meant to say. Sandstone, of course. So, yeah, everything just goes into one tile and is easily reachable by our dupes. Tear guard, he knows my pain. Yep, I have deleted dozens and dozens of advanced games, read it and tried to figure out what I was doing. Yeah, it is not easy. I mean, if you're playing it at a that high stage of the game, that far advanced on several planetoids and huge bases and this and that and all around, and then trying to go back and see, um, what the hell did I do here? <laughs> Certainly not an easy thing. Sin says, yeah, my dooms don't live that long. <laughs> Hmm, it died? I hope you don't mean the stream. I didn't get an error message from YouTube or OBS. Um, yeah guys, if you have trouble, obviously let me know in chat. And at the same time, if you do have more trouble, uh, refresh the stream. I will not be going offline 
up until the point where it is roughly 7.30 or so in Eastern Time. Once you get things going here, that aluminum is going to make things so much easier with thermal conductivity. Yes, 100%. Like I said, all this aluminum ore here, we have tons of that stuff. It's actually incredible how much there is. Like, it's all around the base. Tons and tons and tons of it. That is going to come in really handy. That is for sure. Nope, be good. It was on my player's end. It did play out for me for a moment, but it reloaded itself and came back. Come on, Comcast. Get your shit together. Really shouldn't be too much to ask for the amount of money I pay you. <laughs> Our water here is going up. Of course, currently, the water temperature over here is fighting the cold coming on from the bottom because our dupes never got their shit together and actually finished those insulated tiles. That is a problem. And trying to heat up those tiles right here is also not an easy feat. But again, I would really prefer to not dig those up. But what we can do, most certainly, is we can try to give a very high priority to those insulated tiles over here as much as we can. So we can come and at least prevent all that cold uh, energy to come in, or better to say, cold energy doesn't go anywhere because it doesn't exist. All of our heat energy from our basin right here leaving out, better to say. That is uh, definitely the more scientific explanation right there. Okay, uh, of course we don't have any water for our wash basin right here. We can now go to organic, set it to algae with like an eight or something like that. So all the algae will eventually come in here. And what is going on with this egg? Like, are we gonna move it or are we not gonna move it? Or what are we doing here, guys? Um, in the worst case scenario, I am going to crack it because we are cramped and we only have six for, uh, six out of eight and we are once again having an elderly one. So I give you about another half a cycle or so to move this thing. And if you don't, we are going to do this here very easily. Maybe this works. We will see. I really would like to not have to crack one, but I will if I have to. There is no question. We're back down to 3000 calories, but now all of our mealwood is growing. Obviously our musher here is out of order because we don't have any water. Negative 4.4, 3.6, uh, We will see. We will see if this here works out. It should, at least in theory. Especially once we have all those insulated tiles in. I always find with the move command I have to click on it and make it a 9 before they will do it. In your current game, moving egg is storage task. In the February quality of life, it will be a ranching task. Oh, I see. Okay. That would explain it, at least the thing, because I would have assumed it would be a ranching task since it's an egg. Apparently not. But now it is a number nine priority. What else can I do? You gonna grab that egg? Oh, thank God. Took long enough. And the cramped debuff is now finally gone after what feels like an eternity. Good grief. Should have known that earlier. We have another blueprint available, so let's take a look here. Do we have a decent dupe? We have a pay. Wrenching, researching, suit wearing with hard digging, but at the same time decrease decreased excavation. Could work with that, we have enough diggers. Just this here is completely useless at that point. We have Catalina with supplying and operating. That would be good. That would be another engineer right here. Cannot do attacking errands. Nobody cares. Decreased air consumption. That's fine. Interior decorator can work with that as well. Catalina here is a pretty decent dupe. And then we have Nails over here with farming and researching. Cannot do attacking errands. Nobody cares. Decreased air consumption rate. That's fine. Farming and researching or supplying and operating. I think we have enough farmers and we have enough researchers for right now, and we will get plenty more of those later. But having supplying and operating in one, I think that's a pretty decent dupe right here. 
So, let me take a quick look here. We have Catalina. And Catalina is not going to stay Catalina. And of course, we're going to take Catalina in. We are going to make Sin. Of course, Cinnamon Night Entertainment. But we are just going with Sin, as you requested. And Sin, welcome to the game. You are our new operator slash supplier. And of course, eventually, let's take a look here. You will be a mechatronics engineer. That will be nice. We're going to start with improved carrying. That is more useful right at this moment. And that should be a good addition to our base. Always need operators. I couldn't agree more. Definitely. The more engineers we can slap in here, the better it will be in the mid to end game. in the bottom we're still okay how much coal do we have in this base is that all we have let's take a look here 17.8 tons and those are 15.9 so we have a few more tons sitting around who knows where exactly and there's of course plenty more that we can dig up if we have to and at the same time our hatches right here are also on the job to creating slowly but steadily more that is very good so let's also get rid of the debris of course the egg right here we don't want to put anywhere and this egg we don't want to put anywhere either obviously we are not incubating anything nothing along those lines so it will take him forever to actually hatch uh, this here is at 59 percent five percent per cycle change um thankfully we don't really care too much right now that is perfectly fine the way it is By the way, BRT, I was going to mention my technique and see what a veteran Oni player thinks about it. It might have, uh, it might even be something you want to try. When I start pumping water from my water reserves around my base for its various uses, I obviously put a pump at the bottom of my reservoir, but I have to pipe directly into a liquid reservoir right next to it and then connect the two with automation wire. Then the pipe from the liquid reservoir goes to the rest of my base's plumbing. I do this because it keeps my pump from running over running all the time and ensures my system always has water ready to flow even if there's a problem like a hiccup in the power availability. That is absolutely valid, absolutely a good idea. There is um, not a single thing I can say against that. Um, having a liquid reservoir is always a good idea as a matter of fact to put into a run uh, and you Stated the reasons 100%. If your power should go out because your dupes are too dumb to fill in coal or whatever it may be, um, the liquid reservoir will keep it flowing at least for a little while. It's kind of like having a, uh, a UPS, uh, uninterruptible power supply, hooked up to your computer. It's um, definitely a good thing to have. And yes, you're correct. With electricity, it does help also very, very much. Come on. Why does everything take forever? Because of the carbon dioxide. Yes, it is because of the carbon dioxide. But we are getting there. Slowly but steadily. In our grill. Pickled meals. Uh, don't help us anything. Yeah, I remember that. We are not trying to dig this here up, but we are trying to put in as many insulated tiles as we can. In a worst case scenario, I will just dig around here and have them build it from the bottom. Doesn't really matter too much to me. We can do whatever we want here. I just don't want to dig up this ice here if we don't absolutely have to. I will give all of those here number nine because the moment that this ice here melts for example uh, we can just put another insulated tile right across this corner right here and that will help then of course the next row here to melt as well very good slowly but steadily we are getting somewhere also right here we have all this ice i'm going to put this ice down here into the storage bins and i will limit those storage bins to like five tons or so let's say six tons there we go, copy the settings over. So we don't have that much mass in here, that will help it to melt a little bit quicker. And we're just going to plop a few more in here. 
Just as simple as that. But yes, right here. Uh, plop another ladder on the outside. And then we're gonna dig up all this ice right here. And I four high. That should work. Who in the hell is starving again? Dear guard. Why don't you just go and get you some food, brother, huh? Nobody's stopping you. Right, looking very good. Slowly but steadily we are back on our feet. Yes, the food is still low, but at least we have our meal with here ready to be harvested. And somebody should hopefully come by here soon. Let's take another look at the priorities. We have a farmer right here, Killjoy. We're going to give you only one. And Elfie, you get a two. And Frozen here, you also get a two. That is probably more reasonable since you are mainly focused on ranching and eventually you will have all your hands full with the ranches up here on the top. Because he knows who cooked it. <laughs> That's funny. That is hilarious. I love that. You know, right here. Come on, get rid of this last little bit here. That would be really, really nice. Our water is by now at 30 degrees. Uh, and the first thing here is as a melted dough. That's good. So these years should be following very quickly. Eventually, yes, we are overheating our water currently drastically, but that problem would also solve itself very, very soon. As soon as this thermal sensor here is free, we will actually most likely dig it up right away so we don't heat it anymore. But yeah, that's what it currently looks like. Not a big deal, though. Especially since we are going to start putting more and more ice into here, which will counteract our liquid tapidizer basically all by itself. Of course, we do want those storage builds here to be built. That would be also very nice done. Come on, guys. Get it done, better to say. Let's turn up the speed here, but it'll never get done. Five times speed, much better. Copy the settings over. I'm off to bed as working tomorrow. Thanks for the stream. I will catch up on the rest tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining. And don't you worry, if we get another dupe in today, it will be yours. They will get stuck with the above ice digging. Um, where will they get stuck? Aaron? Not entirely sure. Where could they get stuck? They shouldn't get stuck anywhere here, honestly. Because they can move along here. They can move down there. No, they, sh they shouldn't get stuck. Unless I'm missing something crucial here. There we go. Much, much better. The water is now overflowing. Also much, much better. Dig this stuff up. Dig this stuff up. It may be that we are dropping a few frames again, guys. Let me reiterate, if you have just joined, Comcast, my internet provider, is, of course, messing with me while I'm trying to stream. How else would it be? Um, if you experience any issues, just to refresh the stream. The stream will most definitely not be over for roughly two more hours. So if you want to continue watching, just refresh your stream, and hopefully that should solve the problem. I mean, in the upper side ice. Oh, yeah, right here. They cannot cross over. That's what you mean we get stuck. Now I see it. Let's solve that problem as well. Not an elegant solution, but at least until the ice is gone, that will fix itself. Um, they can come down here too, down here too, down here. Need, uh, uh, of course, one. Back up the ladder. Not very efficient, but as soon as this here is gone, we are going to put another floor in here eventually. So... These two here should solve the problem. Thank you. Yeah, I totally missed that. Of course, they can't go over here. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's 
So when you play, do you have a priority for maximizing a stable population of dupes, or do you just seek to have enough dupes to maintain the colony? Um, I usually like to have rather, quote unquote, too many dupes than not enough. But of course, the dupes that are in the printer have to be good ones. I'm not just taking any dupe. I mean, we uh, went two complete cycles for the printing pod without taking anybody on, just because the dupes that were in there were not what I was looking for. Um, especially in the beginning. Later on, it doesn't matter too much. Um, you can get anything and you can usually get away with it, but it should be okay. I haven't touched only for a year now. Saw you start the other day and started up a new Oasis cluster. Oh, Oasis. Always interesting. I stopped when they reworked the Pakus. Um, they reworked the Pakus? In what way? <laughs> I am utterly unaware of that. Um, hopefully I can get past that. Um, what did they do to the Pakus? Is, um... The old infinite uh, Paku farm, not a thing anymore. Let's see, we are slowly but steadily melting away. This one here should be gone. This one here. Our water is still increasing in temperature because our thermal sensor is right behind this tile right here. And this tile right here, yeah, we are probably gonna go ahead and we are gonna dig this one tile up just so our uh, thermal sensor here is exposed to the water. So let's see if we can make that happen real quick with a high priority. Good grief, or they will not do a damn thing as usual. Those dupes, I'm telling you. All right, our thermal sensor now is exposed and our liquid tepidizer has stopped. We are stopping to waste a bunch of coal. That is very good. Jeez, brutal internet. You inter uh, experience interruptions again. I'm about to switch over to the other internet. I'm sick and tired of Comcast. I may have to stop the stream here for just a second, switch over and try the other one and see if that goes any better. I think I'm going to try this real quick, guys. I think I will be back here in just a second because yeah, my upload speed is at 5,000 kilobytes per second, which is of course not going to fly for 1440p at 60 FPS. Check one thing real quick before I do that. I'm gonna be off on the other screen really quickly. Maybe it is actually YouTube's fault because I actually can't find a problem. To be quite honest, my download speed and upload speed are at the absolute maximum. It should be working, but somehow it isn't. That is very, very weird. What are you doing, YouTube? Actually, I am going to blame it on YouTube, not on, on Comcast. According to the speed test, my internet is totally fine. There is nothing wrong at all, but it's completely fluctuating here on YouTube's end. Well, that would mean that switching the internet is also not going to help until uh, YouTube figures out their problem. Come on, YouTube. Don't make me regret choosing YouTube and not Twitch. <laughs> Let's see. I just changed up the setting in OBS, but again, I'm pretty sure the problem is on YouTube's end at this point. Because locally here, I actually can't find a problem right at this point. I look for it. So, 
Something's wrong on YouTube's end. Okay, look at this. Our water, or better to say our ice here, is melting slowly but steadily. That's very good. And also inside the storage bins, the early storage bins, we are at negative 1.9 degrees Celsius. So eventually a blob of six tons of water will just erupt from those storage bins. Also, these storage bins down here are set to A7. So what we are going to do is we are going to transfer over our ice by just setting it to a higher priority. Just as simple as that. That should get the job done. Frozen hair is here, getting us more mealwood in. Very good. Maybe, just maybe, slowly but steadily, we can start researching a little bit more and it actually advance in a game. Um, we're still at 2,400 kilocalories. That is still not a lot, though. We need to stabilize that a little bit more. Hmm. Maybe it is time to build us a, a singular bedroom right here. Um, I'm mainly interested in the back here because that will be a bathroom. If that becomes a bathroom, we can then eventually get rid of these bathrooms right here and, of course, put in more mealwood. At least that is the general idea. So let's give it a little bit of a higher priority so the dupes will actually get it done all around here. Of course, on the top, the same goes here. We will build the exact same setup right above it. There we go. The only thing that we probably will have to do it, it is freezing in here. Therefore, the back wall right here will be built out of insulated tiles. Something just like that. We can actually build it all the way to right here. That should work. Couple more doors right there. And then a couple more doors right here. And a couple more doors right here. When they built those, I don't really care too much. First of all, we're gonna get the bottom one done. And then we will go from there. I've been playing a demo of a game like Oxygen Not Included for a bit now, learning how to break things for the creators to fix lol. I'm better at creatively failing those games than winning. Uh, do you mind me asking what game that is? Like, um, I don't have anything on the, um, on the uh, horizon that is uh, gonna come out I'm soon that is somewhat like Oxygen Not Included. These mealwoods here, we can rip those out very soon as well. As soon as we can relocate those bathrooms right here, uh, that will be good because we won't need them anymore. And that will save us a bunch more energy. Or it, it will not save it, but it will relocate it to something that is more efficient. Let me put it that way. That should be good in the long run. And exactly as expected, slowly but steadily, they will move the ice from these storage bins over to these, where it will slowly but steadily melt and, of course, cause us to have more water in this tank right here. Very, very good. That is exactly what that should look like. And up here, we actually have a little bit more water that we can mop up. So let's do that right away as well. More ice, of course, not just here, but all over the place that we can dig up and then eventually put into those storage bins. Usually I get them a little bit lower than six tons. Usually I do two tons per just to speed up the melting process. But right at the moment we are sitting at six tons and we will see how that goes. Gabriel Neves, hello. How are you doing today? Thank you for, uh, for joining. I'm doing perfectly fine, but YouTube is making some problems here with my stream and I'm not happy about it. I thought it was Comcast, my internet provider, but it turns out it has to be on YouTube's end because on my end, no matter what I check, everything seems to be fine. And it's slightly frustrating, not gonna lie. <laughs> the life is stuttering. Yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I can't do anything about it because on my end, no matter what I check, everything is in perfect working order. So it has to be on YouTube's end. 
which is odd to say the least. We need a little bit more water. Well, we can actually plop it over here. Let's see something like uh, this height here should get the job done for right now. So we have access to water once again. We have a starvation going on once again. Yes, we need this pitcher pump here. And we need it fast so we can pump out a few more mush bars for right now that then can be fried up to mush fries and then be eaten. Because right at the moment, that is all we got. Haha, <laughs> I called it YouTube hijinks. Yes, it is actually YouTube. I literally thought it was Comcast, but I can't find any evidence that that is the case. Comcast is actually doing its job for once, which is surprising, but seems to be the truth. All right, let's build this pump. All right, the pump is built. I don't want to lose a dupe. The micro musher, number nine priority. Come on, bring the water. Get it done. Right here. Frozen hair is coming up. How much are we starving? We have 800 calories left here. 1,000 calories left there. And Cassie up here just literally peed into my water reservoir. Why would that be? There is a... F out of order. Why is it out of order? Oh my god. Well, it's not that big of a deal. Because thankfully, we can't just mop it up. Isn't that nice? And the water should be warm enough to probably kill also the um, germs here. Uh, slowly but steadily at least. And if not, we're just going to let it cool down. Or we can use my trick with the uranium ore door. There are so many ways that we can get rid of those germs, thankfully, that it's not that big of a problem. Uh, let's go into base. Let's grab us a manual airlock. Let's build it out of uranium and let's plop one right there. Let's see <laughs> uh, Sin says hey, I Facebook stream so most days I'm yelling fuck the Zuck and also, if it makes you feel better, a purple streamer I know is also having issues today, so it might be something else. Okay. It does make me slightly better, because then apparently it must be on YouTube's end. Truly sucks though, guys. I mean, again, I can't find a problem on my end, but I apologize anyways. That is not the experience that I would like to provide you guys, but unfortunately, it is out of my hands and not within my power. Come on, build the door. <clears throat> as soon as we build the manual airlock door, it should slowly but steadily kill those germs right here, those food poisoning germs, um, because it is slightly radioactive and it should have a slightly radioactive aura. We have a dupe with high stress, that is Mason Ray. Um, not entirely sure what he's doing, he's probably going in and out of this water right here. That would be the number one cause for stress in our base right now. So we definitely need to do something about that. Let's see, where are you going? You're building over here and you're sopping wet. Yep, that would be the problem. You're also hungry, which is not good. Let's take a look in our blueprint. Um, right at the moment, I do not want to bring on another dupe because we are so low food. Let's take a look. Suit wearing plus eight athletics. Decreased construction, decreased agriculture, but has some aesthetic uh, design skills. Building plus 10, decreased strength. Yeah, none of those are worth it right now. We're going to get us the Arbor Acorn and we're going to move on and act like that print has never happened. I'm also not sure it says here entombed. The building is entombed. Okay. We have some ice in here. Not entirely sure how that happened. Thankfully, it's not a dupe and just a building that we can live with. That is okay. 
The buffer is back. Yes, it turns out it is a YouTube issue. Um, apparently, I've just been told other streamers also have problems on YouTube today. So, it is on YouTube's end. It is not actually on my end. I was about to switch over to my other internet connection when I saw that my current internet connection doesn't have any problems. It's working exactly as expected with the exact speeds, if not faster, that I'm paying for. So it cannot be on my end. It unfortunately is a YouTube problem and therefore, sadly, completely out of my control. There's not a damn thing I can do about it, which truly sucks. I hope this... Um, multi-trillion dollar company can get their shit together and figure out how to run a server anytime now. That would be very nice. Come on, build me my door. Somebody, anyone. Anytime now. So we have now built this manual airlock right here. And when we take a look, it has some radiation going on here. And we have water here, which has... No germs right now, of course, when I'm looking at it. It basically already killed it right away. We just have to build those doors a little bit all around here. And that is a very simple way to get rid of the germs in our water. Isn't that nice? Let me lock and open those doors when that is done. Doesn't really matter too much. I just want to let the dupes know that it has to be done eventually. So they will actually get it done eventually. But for right now, we're just building this here so we can get rid of those outhouses and wash basins. We are going to relocate them back onto this side right there. That will make it a hell of a lot nicer and a hell of a lot better because we will be able to get more meal within. That will be a good thing. Other than that, I don't think we have much else that we can actually do. We have three blossom seeds, uh, 5 to 30 degrees. That would actually be a good thing right here. Just needs a, a little bit of light and water, 20 kilograms per cycle. Can't really afford that right now, but eventually we will probably go for bro uh, bristle blossoms. Good grief, that's a hard thing to say. Uh, but once we have that, um, that should be okay. We just need more ice in here and we need to melt it. Our storage pin right here is at negative uh, 0 0.5 degrees in the negative and this one here at 1.1. All the others should be still extremely cold, but slowly but steadily, that should also get better. Thankfully, it's not like we are in a hurry with the water right now. We are once again starving. Yeah, we need to get this area over here dug out. Thankfully, what we can already do is we can already build one outhouse and plop it right here in the back. And then a wash basin right beside it. Because this here is what that should eventually look like in each and every one of those rooms. Of course, the same goes for here and for right there. Might as well put the blueprint in just so we have an idea what this entire construct here is going to look like in a little bit. Here we have a little bit more oxygen light that we already noticed that earlier. We are still doing totally fine on oxygen. No problem at all. Just mop it up. Yep. Just as simple as that. <laughs> you are pretty far behind on the stream, Kionis, though. I'm pretty sure the buffering is causing you some trouble. Because that has happened roughly... I don't know, 5 to 10 minutes ago? <laughs> Alright. Send this back with another $2. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. I blame Y2K. Finally, surprise attack. <laughs> yeah, nobody saw it coming. On the 18th of February, 2024. <laughs> and Cassie, oh, so bad I missed the start. 
Well, I'm glad you could make it now. Thank you for joining. Uh, the only problem is that you just happened to pee into my water tank right here. <laughs> Um, our ice right here is melting 2.2 degrees, almost. The melting point is at 0 0.6. It should be there any second now. We are getting there. And of course, we have our manual airlock right here for one reason, one reason only. We don't need to close it because it just wastes time. We can actually set it to always open. The reason that we have it is, is of course, for the radiation. Because as I just mentioned... Cassiopeia decided to pee into our water tank. So we have to do about something about the germs, and we rather do it earlier than later. And of course, a manual airlock built out of you out of uranium ore is perfect for that kind of job. As a matter of fact, we can directly build a second one um, somewhere like right there, maybe it's reachable, and another one maybe somewhere like right here. We're just going to build it and then we're going to deconstruct it because the radiation is going to destroy those germs in absolutely no time. Another insulated tile. Slowly but steadily, it's coming together. Once the insulated tiles are done, the dupe should have no more reason to come down here. And also, Mason's stress ratio should hopefully go down at that point. Take another look into our room overlay. Um, we do not... Have, yeah, the body temperature of our bluff prior right here. That is the actual problem. We are not getting the buff anymore. That is, of course, an issue. And the problem is that we don't have a dupe yet that can actually do something with our large sculpting blocks right here. Okay, that is the root cause for our trouble. Interesting. What can we do about that in the short term? Probably not a hell of a lot. To be quite honest, we could, well, all these tiles here are actually nice and warm, so that's not the issue up here on the top. We could put some insulating tiles right here to stop the cold coming from above. That is probably a good course of action, so let's go another four high, and let's put some in here. Let's put some in there. You know what, screw it, we're going to put them all along, and then we're going to dig out a two-wide slab. That should help a little bit, not entirely sure if it's going to be enough for our um, bluff barrier right here. But it's certainly worth a shot, because from the bottom we are already insulated. Now from the top, from the left side, we will be very soon. Due to all those insulated tiles we're going to put on the left side. And on the right side right here, yeah, you know what, screw it. We are also going to replace the right side right here with insulated tiles. The less cold that can come in, or better to say, the less heat that can escape, the better it is. Come on, melt you last pieces of ice so we can put the last two insulated tiles in here as well which will increase the efficiency here drastically that is exactly what we need and up here of course we need more mush bars let's put another 20 in right here with the highest priority of course because we are low on food and the dupes are not happy thankfully we have a way right now to help with that and as soon as more of this here is built we will be able to get rid of this here and put in more mealwood. Okay, let's see what we have now. Not entirely sure. Can you guys uh, see me, hear me again? Let's see here. Let's see. <clears throat> so I should have started the stream now and I should be back, I hope. How does this look like to you guys? Is it any different now?
It said, unfortunately, on my end, I just cannot see a problem. Might be worth a quick reset, but I'm not sure when Beardio will see this. I believe I just did that. Okay, uh, let's see. I believe uh, the internet connection should now be switched. We will see if it is actually Comcast or not. Right around now. I'm going to scroll around even more on the map relatively quickly just to um, strain the, um, the stream a little bit and see what that does. How is it now? Seems better now? Really? Golden? You gotta be kidding me. The thing is though, on my end I didn't see a problem. It was Comcast. Damn you, Comcast. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that fixed it. You should keep doing that. <laughs> Zero buffer yet. Well, we will see. Well, we'll keep going here and we will see what happens. <laughs> if it was truly Comcast. Oh my god, I'm gonna tell you. Alright, where did we stop? Uh, yes, that's right. We wanted to try to uh, uh, put in those here, and those were actually done in the time where we sat around trying to figure out what the issue is. So let's plop that in. We have, of course, insufficient resources here. That is uh, not surprising because the priority is very low. We're going to give it a 7. Should be okay. We're going to copy the settings to all of them. And right here, the toilets, we're going to give a number 9. So they get actually cleaned when we need to clean them. So let's hope that for the last hour and 15 minutes or so the buffering will stop with my uh, second internet provider and we will see if that's any better what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put in one more bathroom or better to say one more double bedroom right here so let's copy everything one more time one step higher one two no okay that is not actually what i wanted to do not the beds uh, we don't need those. Just the doors, though. Right here. Uh, right here. And the last ones are right here. There we go. Then we can go ahead and we can dig all this stuff here out all the way to the back and put in insulated tiles instead. Of course, we will need some flooring, though. One right here to be very precise. And we need to come up with our fire pole a little bit higher or we won't be able to reach anything. There we go. How is it guys so far smooth everything okay everything as it should be i truly hope so maybe i should have tried that a hell of a lot earlier i guess we have a one more tiny little bit of spot of uh food terms in here um let's build us another door just for a second we're gonna deconstruct it then right away and then slowly but steadily, yes, our six tons of ice right here should be melting as well. Yes, much better now. Well, apparently it looked, I'm telling you guys, I promise I checked it and I couldn't find a problem on my end. Apparently I was dead wrong about that though. Well, I will know next time if something doesn't work. I will go ahead and I will uh, just swap the internet connection right away instead of trying to tinker around lesson learned and hopefully it will be better the next time around and for the rest of the stream as a matter of fact let's go into the direction of solid transporting with research might as well do a little bit more in that direction also plastics we will need you know what let's go fossil fuels because the natural gas generator will become important as well and you know what all the way over to the oil well that's totally fine let's do that 
For information for me, mobile user, it still shows as live, but it's just on the title card. If you're still streaming, I have to keep refreshing. Yes, I'm definitely still streaming. Um, definitely still streaming, but restarted the stream. Let's see if um, Cinnamon Knight Entertainment Sin here, if he refreshes, it should be okay for him once again as well, I hope. And then right here, we're gonna mop up everything here on the top. All right, by now we have to do this little walk around here to get over here and all of that in carbon dioxide, that is of course not optimal. So what we're gonna do is we are now going to put a floor of tiles in here all the way through. It's not necessarily a priority, but it needs to get done. And thankfully we already have a ladder, so the dupes can't be dumb enough to actually get stuck down here, which is most definitely always a good thing. That I want to get done first and then right behind that I want to come all the way over here and if you guys could also put in this insulated tile wall here so we are insulating our base a little bit better that would be nice as well. <laughs> Another two dollars from Sin. My god man I truly truly appreciate you. I cannot tell you how much. Not a stream without tech issues. For real. Last time around, though, the first stream went pretty smooth. Um, from my understanding, at least. I didn't get too many complaints. But right at the moment, it um, hopefully has stabilized and we are good once again. But thank you very much for the $2 once again. Truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look into our duplicate skills. Cassiopeia can do two, but we don't have the morale right now because we are still too cold for our bluff briar right here. Um, slowly but steadily, the heat though is expanding up here and I hope it will be okay again in a few minutes here. That should be okay. See, just all the pain the rest of us have. You were lucky before. Yeah. You're probably right, but thankfully though, I'm lucky enough that I do have two internet connections, so if one is literally flaking out, I do have learned my lesson though, so next time around, if something like that happens, I will not mess around and I will change over to my second internet provider right away to check out if that is the issue. I should have just done that from the very beginning, that is my fault and I apologize for that. Come on, put the floor in. How is our oxygen looking? Still more than fine. It will get even better once this oxalite here is dug up. So that's going to be very good. I've seen Oni bases more stable than YouTube streaming. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> that's funny, though. That is funny. <laughs> Our algae terrarium here is back up and running, but all the polluted oxygen um, is now stuck down here for some reason. Uh, well, I guess that's fine. We have a, a few pockets right here, and that's totally okay. Um, actually, we do have right here the polluted oxygen that is causing all the... Uh, sorry, the polluted water that is causing all the polluted oxygen. 2,800 kilograms, so we, we will need to find a way to get rid of that polluted water as well. Currently, we don't have any storage for it, so we will have to come up with something. Let's take a quick look. What do we have in sand in this thing? 58 tons. I would say that is plenty. So what we could do... Yeah, what could we do here? Could literally go ahead and we could plump a... Where's that again? Is that a refinement? No, there's a water seed. Is that an oxygen? Yeah, deodorizer. We could put a deodorizer literally right here somewhere. I just gotta find a good location for it. Could put another hole into right there. Yeah, let's do that. We can plop a deodorizer right here. Deconstruct this one tile right here. And then right here on the bottom, just for tempor uh, just temporarily, we're going to make this hole here a little bit bigger. We're gonna make it first of all straight, 
And once we have it straight, we're gonna make it just a little bit deeper. And then we're just gonna put a, another bottle empty right here for polluted water and keep the polluted water down there. I think that's probably the easiest solution for right now. And this here, we are then going to close back up and come with our ladder down here. Just as simple as that. That should get the job done. Certainly not the most optimal solution, but it is a solution, and that solution will work for now, just so we can get rid of it, and we don't have the problem of having polluted oxygen all over our freaking base. Another problem that is solved relatively easy. And then once we have this last bathroom right here, we are ready to dig even harder into this right here. And already, what we should have here is that each and every one of them is a latrine, and these here are barracks, which soon will become actually uh, luxury barracks. Sorry, no, they will stay barracks because we don't have a comfy bed. Uh, yeah, we do need a comfy bed, but we don't have that yet because we don't have any plastic. And we have neither oil nor Dracos lying around. So that is, of course, going to be a little bit in the future. But what I want to get next into is this natural gas gazer right here. And um, yeah, that should be helpful very very shortly as well because we are getting a little bit low on coal we are not very sparse with our power especially with those space heaters right here and of course the liquid tepidizer is also sucking up its fair share that we can't forget about other than that yeah like i said as long as this briar here is not good or we don't have a large sculpting block uh, that we can work on so it's definitely permanent no matter what happens there's nothing much else that we can do for right now wonderful oxygen is coming in from our oxalite right here from the dug up one just as much as from the one that we have not dug up quite yet very very good Slowly but steadily though, we are stabilizing, also our food supply is getting better by the second, really. That is a very good thing. We will dig all this stuff here up, also with a high priority, please, so it gets done. And once it is done, we're gonna get rid of all the debris this time around right away. I definitely neglected that last time. Mush fries are being built. Very, very good. Pickled meals. we don't need they're completely pointless um, because longevity of our food is certainly not the problem that we are fighting in any way shape or form not a 10 mush bars just so we have them but slowly but steadily the base is taking shape and that is good we are now cramped we have five critters and is there another egg behind here yes we have one too many eggs so let's grab a random one doesn't matter too much which one and bring it up to the top. Just as simple as that. Both of our two buildings right here, or rooms right here, are stables, but that's very, very nice. Right here. The question is, how deep are we are? Uh, how deep are we gonna go? Probably something like this here. We are gonna put it into uh, insulated tiles, of course. Even though for polluted water, it's not really a problem. But it's also gonna be a much, much smaller tank. There we go. That should get the job done. Just like this here. We're gonna leave this ladder right here and right there. We're gonna come over something like this here. We can get rid of every other one. Don't need any more, just so the dupes can go back and forth, because this here will be closed up very shortly. How's our schedule looking? We only have two dupes on nights. Maybe we should um, add like a gremlin to nights. And maybe one of our diggers as well. How about maybe not Nathan? Maybe uh, Cassiopeia? There you go, knights and frozen. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Where's our schedules right here? One more. Uh, Killjoy can work during the day. We're gonna go with Sin. There we go. Now we have a proper night shift together. They won't like it in the first cycle, but every cycle thereafter, it shouldn't be a problem.
And can somebody please build this door? Good grief. What are you guys working on? Okay, so we have this here going on. Uh, this here is very low priority, so it doesn't matter. But other than that, we only also have this here going on and nobody works on that either. So what are you guys working on? <laughs> I truly don't understand. There are 11 of you standing around somewhere. And I'm not entirely sure what your guys' um, priorities are right now. I feel like the AI got even worse uh, since I played it the last time. This is crazy. Nothing is been doing. Uh, nothing is getting done without putting it on the maximum priority here. Ridiculous. How much longer for another dupe? One point three cycles. Okay. One more ladder in here. We're gonna leave this for right now until all this here is properly dug out. And once all this here is built, we're gonna close the left side off. We're gonna leave the right side open. And then we're gonna fill it up with polluted water and nothing but polluted water. And that should then be totally fine. Just can't forget to put the deodorizer on a very, very high um, priority. So we actually get the sand delivered when we need it. Something like this. Number nine priority and done. We will have a total of one, two, three, four, five, a total of 10 bedrooms and bathrooms. So we will need one more to accommodate for 12 dupes because that is the goal that we have for right now to get a total of 12 dupes in here. So I'm gonna plop and copy all of this here directly one more time. We really need a uh, decorating dupe. That is what we need right now. That is what I'm after. And I really hope we get lucky enough that next time around when our um, pod is ready, that we actually get one of those desired dupes. Let's go up, let's come around. Let's dig all this here up. There we go. Get it done, guys. That would be really, really nice. We have to have another conversation about just how dumb dupes are. <laughs> Even the one named after me. Mr. Beard here, if you already answered this question, I'm sorry, but are you going to do more playthrough series of Oni? I really enjoyed LP1 Rhyme and LP2 Oceania. Um, the question was asked if I'm going to continue LP2, and the answer is I don't know yet, because... Um, it's really hard on such an advanced base to come back and actually realize what have I done so far? What is the current state of the base? Like if you don't stay with one base for a long time, I don't know if you've ever tried that or not, it is a, a real problem to actually remember what the hell you were thinking last time around you played it. So I don't know if I will continue LP2, but eventually in the future I am planning on, uh, on doing at some point a... Um, um, another LP, yes. But I cannot tell you when. It may be in six months. It may be in three months. It may be in a year. I, I truly can't tell right now. Uh, with what I have going on at work and privately and all over the place, I don't have an answer. The lore answers about the state of the dupes. Truth be told, at least in oxygen not included, I have never been a guy for the lore. <laughs> I'm more here for the, um, I don't know, the gameplay, the engineering aspect. It's not really a game where I care in any way, shape or form about the lore, to be quite honest. Okay, thanks, I will be around for when you drop it. I truly appreciate that. Like I said, don't know when, but when it is there, I hope that YouTube will notify you. <laughs> I have watched LP1 Ram all the way through like three times. Three times? <laughs> That's amazing. Well, hey, I'm truly glad you like the content, though.
How satisfied, how satisfied are your dupes? I've noticed them being less unruly when happy. Well, most of them are pretty happy. Um, Mason here is um, the exception to the rule, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, other than that, they seem to be pretty uh, content. Um, unfortunately, our Briar Bluff here is still at 9.6 degrees and a little bit cold. I'm wondering if I just uproot this thing and put a new one in, what's gonna happen? Guess there's only one way to find out, huh? Like I said, I'm still waiting for those 0.8 cycles and I hope we can find us a dupe that can do us some wonderful uh, sculpting right here. That would be nice because I'm planning on putting a bunch of sculptors all over here, which should then make the dupes extremely happy in absolutely no time. I usually put it on my TV when I'm getting ready for bed, kind of my nightly routine. <laughs> it's actually... I don't know if funny is the right word to me or not, but I have gotten this comment in the, um, well, the comments, I guess, um, quite a lot that, that people somehow enjoy my voice and literally use it to go to sleep, which, hey, I'm not complaining about it. Right here, storage bin 1.8 degrees, slowly but steadily, soon six tons of water should be erupting out of here. What is our water temperature right now? It is a little cold. I have it set to five degrees. Yeah, I forgot about the melting the um, um, ice right here. So let's turn it up to 15 degrees. Let's turn our liquid tepidizer back on to speed up the process here just a notch. So that's good. Hi there, it seems like your dupes are picking up water all the time and it's a long commute. I'm totally sure. where, are, where are they getting water from? Do I have an able auto bottle on? No, I don't. Well, up here I have a mopping a little bit, but that shouldn't be too much. They shouldn't really be able to pick up any water anywhere else, I would think. I will keep an eye out for it. Uh, thank you, Crafter, for the uh, hint, though. I, I truly appreciate it. Uh, it's got to be something that I missed then, for sure. And it is a long commute, yes, it is a long commute to get over here, for sure. But there shouldn't be much, I tr usually try to keep it, the ice shouldn't be melting. Huh. Excited for more Pal World 2? Uh, Pal World isn't for everybody? No, Pal World is not for everybody, that's for sure. There's no question. And it is also most definitely not for my quote unquote core audience. There is no question about it. But um, if you have joined my Discord and you have read my message, I will be from the pitcher pump. Oh, yeah, they're going to ma micro musher. That's correct. Unfortunately, that is our main uh, source of food right now, up until we get uh, this little uh, area here up and running. That should then solve itself. Uh, but back to Pal World, yes. Um, I did say that I want to stream not only Oxygen included, I will. I, I want to stream games that I have fun with because I am truly under the impression if somebody truly enjoys the games that he's playing, it's more fun for the streamer, of course, and it's also more, uh, more fun for the viewers, even if it may potentially not attract as large of an audience. So there are many other games that are more into the strategy realm, though, that I have in mind to stream. Like, for example, The Rift Breaker or Against the Storm, if you have ever heard of any of those games. Uh, just some games that I personally love and that I, would, that I would like to share with the world and maybe convince some of you guys to give it a shot because some of them are really great titles that are potentially not known um, as broadly as Oxygen Not Included. Let me put it that way. But here right now in oxygen not included it looks like that our bedrooms are coming together almost there did i forget to increase the priority here no the dupes are just not doing a thing but slowly but steadily once we have this here we can separate our bedrooms we have then all of our wonderful bathrooms ready to go and then over here we're gonna rip out those outhouses clean up all this debris and put in a hell of a lot more farm tiles with mealwood which then in turn should solve our wonderful um, issues right here with the micro musher. 
So it should be a chain reaction that should improve the base overall drastically. Absolutely, I've watched some videos because I like the streamer more than the game. Uh, Frabag says, super happy to see you back. I learned a lot from your designs that other content creators seem to just ignore. Thank you so much. That makes me truly happy. And by the way, guys, if you have anything that you want to know, if you have any ideas or any, any concepts that you would like to have explained, feel free to uh, let me know in the chat, in the comments, wherever you feel like, on Discord, for all I care, whatever you guys are most comfortable with. And um, if it's something that I can make a video out, I'm happy to do so and explain it in my typical beer tier fashion. <laughs> Frozen hair, welcome back. Good time zone. Y'all, hope everyone is well today. I hope you're well today too. We had a bunch of technical issues with the stream before, so it's actually a good thing that you just joined. Also, I get nervous explaining out with myself, like I love this war of mine, but I doubt my viewers would, uh, my viewers would enjoy it. It's a double-edged sword. Um, I don't know the game personally, so I don't have an opinion on it. But I think it's something that uh, should be tried. Um, you know, Oxygen Included is a good game, but it's, I never started YouTube just to make videos about one single game. There are many games that I enjoy and many games that I think the world should see. And I think I want to move slowly but steadily more into this direction, even though Oxygen Not Included will obviously always stay um um true to oxygen not included i mean it's one of my all-time favorite games it's probably the games i have the most hours in, in out of all the games i apologize i apologize if it, if it has been asked and answered 100 times why do you use closed door instead of tiles above the regular door convenience <laughs> there is no real reason other than just being able to go click click uh, it's literally that simple there is no other reason for it. Um, a lot of people say, well, it wastes copper, or yes, it does waste some copper, or there is uh, no discussion about it. Each of those stories needs 100, and there are 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15, 18 doors, so 1.8 tons will be wasted just on my bedrooms right here. But, you know, it just makes it easier for me. It's literally this simple. And at the end of the day, usually I have so much ore laying around that it doesn't make a difference. And it improves airflow. Yes, I when I started playing Oxygen Included at the very beginning, I did actually build it with one door and then have two um, airflow tiles above it. And airflow tiles cost 100 each. So I actually had a setup that kind of looked like this. I had two airflow tiles and then a nomadic door on the bottom. And then I realized... Well, that's pointless it takes more time it takes more resources so yeah there's that most definitely as well to the blueprint come on give me what i need suit wearing and operating not what i need researching building suit wearing also not what i need tidying and cooking Ugh. nothing here that i need but i may have to do with one anyway we have auto Cannot do doctoring, cannot do researching. Is pretty fast and can operate. That's all good things. Don't care about researching or doctoring. What else do we have? We have researching, building, suit wearing. Also pretty good. Having somebody who can build faster, run faster and learn faster is always a good thing. Increased agriculture doesn't matter. Decreased uh, bathroom use speed also doesn't really matter anymore since we now have five bathrooms and two schedules and then we have ashcan right here with tidying and cooking but he has art fundamentals already um but he has a bottomless stomach and i do not want to bring a bottomless stomach one on right now so yeah interior decorator should i get a bottomless stomach he has the art fundamentals and he has increased decorator. I don't know. It's a hard decision to make here. 
you know what? I'm gonna bring a new one in. And I think it's time, if you have watched my past series, to bring in another viewer favorite. And that is, of course, somebody we are missing here. And that is Chimster. We don't have a Chimster. We are 44 cycles in and we do not have a Chimster yet. So it is time. Chimster, welcome aboard. And right away, we're going to put you into the wrong quote unquote skill tree. Chimster, you're going to go straight for art fundamentals level two. That will help us out drastically right away, and you will get a hat for it as well. Then we're gonna go into the priorities, and we're going to find this gemster. Where are you at? Right here, decorating. Thank you. Get this here done. Get our large sculpting blocks done right away, and then we should be good to go. And hopefully, we will have our wonderful Great Hall back in no time. Sometimes convenience of engineer is as important as efficiency to the builder. It is very true. Picked up the double doors from you. Works really well. Why you have added the mechanical doors in your water tank? But everybody likes nom noms. <laughs> um, what knows they're going on? That's right. Gemster is finally back. Uh, why do I have added the manual airlock right here? Well, we had a little accident and a dupe peed in here. Um, which we just mopped up, but of course it left a bunch of germs behind. But you can see that the entire tank here is now completely germ-free. And the reason is this door, because this door here is built out of uranium ore. And if you build a manual airlock out of uranium ore, you can go to the radiation overlay, well, which you can't see because we have it currently open, we need to set it back to auto, it doesn't work when it's open. It does emit a lot of radiation one while it is closed. So let me find a dupe but under level nine here. And as soon as this is closed, I will show you that. It's going to, it's a, a very nice way if an accident like that should ever happen to you and you're playing the DLC, of course, because you do need uranium for it. It emits a tiny little bit of radiation. It's totally safe for your dupes, but it kills the germs in absolutely no time. I highly, highly recommend this trick for any kind of germs, uh, whatever it may be. And uh, yeah, that is the little trick here. So the door should lock, and once it's locked, now we can see it, it has a tiny little bit of radiation going on. It's really not much. It's only 21 reds per cycle in the closest tile, 6.6 .6 reds on the very left, and itself has 29 reds, and that is enough to kill all those germs. And the proof is right here, because we had it, and now it's all gone. Just as simple as that. Truth is also though, now we don't need it anymore, so we can't get rid of it. Um, yes, look at this here. Our first storage bin just exploded out with 6,000 kilograms worth of water. Six tons were just added to our tank because we added it. And now, of course, the dupes are coming by and refilling it with 13 grams of ice, I guess. My God. Um, yeah, hopefully another six tons. They will slowly but steadily move the ice from these storage bins over here to the left, one by one by one, until... All this water here or all this ice here has molten and becomes water and it will be in this tank. That'll be a process, it'll take a while, but in the long run it will be absolutely worth it. That is a very easy trick as well. Just have a liquid tepidizer connected to a thermal sensor in your water tank. If you have a bunch of ice laying around, put some storage bins. I usually put it to even lower than 6 tons, I usually have it at 2 tons, but this time around I just decided on 6. It just takes a little bit longer, that's really the only difference. And slowly but steadily, the water temperature will heat up the ice, the ice will melt, and it will just explode out in one big go and release six tons of water every single time. This one here will also burst relatively soon. That is uh, the trick with those storage bins down here. Okay, how are my bedrooms looking? Are we getting there? Guys, come on, get it done. Number nine to these here all of these here are looking into the right direction and when we take a look into our room overlay we have a latrine and when we take a look at the washroom we need a flush toilet and a plumb the wash station and that's all we need to make those latrines here actually washrooms and in the barracks right here we can eventually make luxury barracks and then private bedrooms out of it for right now these barracks here are okay because we can fit four of them in 
Um, that's totally fine. We will have to actually get rid of those doors so we can fit more. But eventually it will look just like this here. We will have a cot, or better to say a comfy bed in here, with one of those statues here. Something like this. The comfy bed is three wide. And then, just as simple as that, we have luxury bedrooms. Or private bedrooms, better to say. That is the general idea in the long run. And I just like to build it early on, so we have it ready whenever we are ready for it. And then next on the list is to rip all this stuff here out. We don't need it anymore now that we have our uh, bathrooms all the way on the left. And we can put in more farm tiles and pick up all the debris that's laying around here. I'm going to give the command after D0 Gondo. Then we're going to put in a couple more space heaters. And we're going to get rid of those space heaters here instead. That should be good. And we are already not that cold anymore. So it's definitely working just fine. We may need to go a little bit warmer on the temperature though. Maybe that is not quite good enough right here. We need to maybe go 18 degrees. Let's turn it on. And soon uh, those space heaters here will be gone as well. Private bedrooms are 24 tiles or 6x4 tiles. Did they change that? Is that another change that happened in the last 6 months? Let me check those out. Minimum height 4 tiles, minimum size 12 tiles, minimum size 24 tiles. They must have changed that because that is uh, the standard build that I have used basically for a couple of years or so. <laughs> and the washroom, did that still work? Yes, washroom is 12 tiles, no outhouses, no industrial machinery, so that is that is stayed the same. So the best thing we can do is actually luxury barracks and for that we don't even yeah for that we don't even need to have the doors in here well, that changes a thing or two well that saves us having these extra doors for no reason well that works just as fine though what is the gain though plus one plus two plus three okay so we are losing out on one more morale point oh well Thanks for the tip, though. I had no idea. Like I said, that, that is exactly how I have always built this. Wow. You're not here for six months and the entire oxygen not included world is on its head. Crazy. The bright side, we have our great hall, which means we can't get rid of this random flower pot that's now sitting there. I feel like an advisor. You guys are all advisors because you have been playing the game in the last six months and I haven't. <laughs> Yeah, I think slowly but steadily. We need a little bit more water in here, but we can slowly but steadily get started on the infrastructure. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and build us in plumbing a liquid pump. Uh, if I find it, here it is. And the liquid pump, I'm probably just going to plop. Let's see where we are. Here we have space. Probably on the left side, actually. Yeah, right here is where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to build it out of anything. Temperature is not of concern here. And then we need insulated pipes, which is rather expensive. But we can increase our thermal conductivity, or better, yeah, um, a little bit by using Ignis Rock. Ignis Rock is a very good as an insulator in the early game. And basically throughout the entire game, we're going to build it up. And we are going to go into base and build us a liquid reservoir, exactly as suggested earlier. Uh, that is a great idea, so we're definitely going to implement it. Like I said, you guys are definitely advisors, and if you have a good idea, who am I to say uh, to not listen to you? That is also truth uh, for your work life. Uh, just as a small tip from my end, it doesn't matter if you're talking to the janitor or to the CEO, anybody can have a good idea, and nobody should ever be disregarded. But for right now, we can come through here, Let's see, what is a smarter way of to, uh, to do this here? We can come... Hmm. Could just go over to the right first, then dump the heat. I think that's a better way to do it. Let me pause the game while we figure out what's the best way to do this here. I'm gonna come all the way over here, up to there, and then we're gonna come into here. This here will eventually disappear, so it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna swap over to normal liquid pipes. Uh, normal liquid pipes gonna go all the way through here. 
Uh, then back to insulated pipes. Insulated pipes are gonna go up here. Then liquid pipes are gonna come back all the way over to here again because those are our two areas that we want to have nice and warm. Then back to insulated pipes. Um, gonna come all the way. We could go from the top down this time around. Usually I come from the bottom up, but it doesn't make a difference. Let's see. All the way over. All the way up. And all the way over here as well. Eventually we will branch off of this wire right here, not wire off of this insulated pipe. And we will get water in here for our advanced outhouses and for our better wash basins, whatever the hell those are called. <laughs> but for right now, all we need is something like this here. And then in a loop, one, two, three, four high, we're gonna come over here and then a liquid vent. That should get the job done. Just as simple as that. All that has to be built. Of course, we will need some power over here for our liquid pump as well. Can't forget about that. But other than that, that is the very basic setup. What we need, we can always expand it if we need to heat something else in our base or whatever we want to do. But for right now, that's it. Very, very basic. Very, very simple. We have water down here. We heat it up to a specific temperature, whatever we want it to be. Currently, we are at 16, 17 degrees. Then we pump it through here. Uh, these here are not hydroponic farm tiles. Those are normal farm tiles. And therefore, we are just releasing the heat energy from the water into the farm tiles, which then in turn heat up the mealwood itself, which then means we don't need our space heaters anymore. And that is exactly what that should look like. Very, very simple and very, very nice. And all it costs us, for most of the time at least, is 240 watts of power to heat our entire base in rhyme. Well, of course, can't forget about the liquid tepidizer, of course, but there is really no way around that. Are you pumping the correct way in storage? Am I? No, I'm not. Son of a... <laughs> uh, thank you for paying attention. Apparently I'm not. We need to, of course, come into here. And then we're going to come out there. And with a liquid bridge, that should fix. Very, very good eyes. Thank you very much for that, Spaz. Truly appreciate it. I guess 80 eyes do see more than two. <laughs> We have 40 mealwood seeds, very, very good. Let's increase this here a little bit so that gets done. Of course, once again, all of those pipes here need to be built. Um, that'll take a while. And then we need to figure out a way to get as much of our power over there. We already have this large power transformer right here. So that was already built with this setup here in mind because with 960 watts plus 240, we are going to max out our wire. Unfortunately, due to all of our food problems that we still haven't solved, I'm not at the point where I wanted to be. And the point where I wanted to be was actually stone hatches. Are you guys cramped again? Seriously? What do we have in here? Six critters and two eggs. That should actually be just fine. Why isn't it? I guess I will just remove an egg and call it a day, I guess. Okay, there are three eggs. There we go. That explains it. One egg, move up there. Yeah, I wanted to go for stone hatches so we can get some refined metals. Unfortunately, as we can see, uh, we're not there. Up here on the top, though, we can already start. And instead of sandstone, we're going to give him sedimentary rock and exclusively sedimentary rock, which then eventually will produce us the stone hatches that we want. But yeah, for right now, all we have is our trusty old rock crusher right here. So what we're going to do is uh, that is a long, long way. And this thing here is highly inefficient, so I really hate to do it, but unfortunately I don't see another choice. We're probably going to use about 50 or so. So let's make 50 um, copper, uh, 50 times 50 kilograms, 
so hopefully that's enough to get us where we want to be. We do have a little bit of lead, which is not a hell of a lot that we can use as well. But yeah, at the moment, I'm happy for anything, really. I don't lie. Uh, we're going to replace this bridge with a conductive bridge. Of course, that has to be done. So let's do that right away, actually. With a number nine priority, so it gets done right this moment. Because that's the first piece of the puzzle. We need everything else we can overwrite. Just the bridge. And I am prone to forgetting the bridge. If I forget the bridge, it'll burn up. And that's usually a bad time. Come on. Carry it out faster. Todd Hurst, glad to catch you live, Beard here. Well, I'm glad for, uh, that you joined. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. And that goes, of course, for every single one of you being here, especially the guys that have been here from the very beginning. We had some massive trouble earlier um, with some, uh, well, my internet connection apparently was the trouble. Um, we had a bunch of buffering and some people are sticking it out and or stuck it out and are still here from that. And I truly appreciate that. Certainly something that I need to get better at in the future. Yep, of course, the liquid Tepidaza has no power because our wire bridge here needs to be rebuilt, but that should be done very soon. It is rocking now. Isn't that hilarious, Sin? Uh, going from a wired connection straight to the router, wire Ethernet, CAT 6E, um, uh, to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is working better. What a joke. Comcast. What a disease of a company. <laughs> Let's turn up the speed a little bit. We can already go ahead and uh, give the command to plant all the mealwood seeds. Uh, we're gonna say plant that, copy the settings, and all across here. Everything's gonna be mealwood for right now. Maybe we're gonna go bristle blossoms eventually, but right at the moment, that's what we need. And then, of course, we were talking about decor earlier. Here in the back, we are going to put more decor in. That is, of course, with low priority, but the dupes will thank us for that very shortly, I'm sure of it. Also, these uh, 12 beds here are not in the right order because it should be at the front. But it should be fine either way. Not the end of the world. It's going to be better than nothing to put it at least temporarily in the back. You're not going to go there. You're going to go right here. And that is something like what it should look like when we are done here. But again, our pipes definitely more important. And especially right here, we need to have this ore. Or better to say this copper. So we can go ahead and replace our wire with something better. Can we please build this conductive wire bridge though? Because I don't want our water temperature to fall too low. We're still trying to melt a bunch of iron. Or a bunch of ice, not iron. <laughs> iron, ice, it's the same thing, isn't it? Germ-wise, it's only on the storage bin, not in the water. That's fine and no problem at all. And hopefully, these here will be gone completely by the time this stuff here melts. We are at negative 7.1 degrees. So, churn-wise, uh, negative 4 per second, yeah, no problem at all. Fortunately, we will need a few more mush bars until our heating system here is going, because up here in the top, even though Killjoy20 is coming by and putting all the mealwood in, we can't really do a hell of a lot with it since we don't have the temperature yet. But we're getting there. Slowly but steadily, we are making pretty good progress here. If we can get this here done today, that would make me very happy because we would see all of our meal would blowing without using any power, of course, other than what we need anyway, which is our liquid pump and our liquid tepidizer. And yes, our natural gas guys are right here. That is going to be a project for most likely the next stream. But at the moment, we're going to heat up the base, of course, as I mentioned now several times. But right here, the natural gas geyser. 
that is going to be the main project for the next time around including an infinite storage most likely and of course we need to be able to do something then with this natural gas we also would like if at all possible uh, to research it so we can see what's going on with it because we currently don't know anything about it so all of those things are definitely in the future so i'm not ending the stream i'm just letting you know some good reasons to tune in next time <laughs> Also, yes, we were talking about all the dirty water. What happened here? Nobody cares about building this here. Yep, the ice transfer is happening. Of course, that is taking up a lot of time for our dupes. Fortunately, at the moment, I don't have a better method of doing this. And I want to get it done because you can see our water reserves are relatively low. Just from judging at it, we have about 60 tons or so. One tile should equal roughly one ton. So eventually we should get this thing here filled up to the top with the amount of ice that we have in our base. Everything has been planted. More and more copper is being pumped out. Very good. We may as well start with rebuilding our wires right here. We are going to start with lay it down here. It's not like it's getting too hot in any time soon, at least down here. So let's see how far can we build a little bit more. And there we ran out of lead. So the rest will have to be built out of copper. Let's see how far we get with that. All the way over here? Nope. Not even that. <laughs> but, well, actually, did it make it directly to this edge? It looks like it because it's not complaining about not having enough resources. But, yeah, we made it almost down here. Not that much further to go. Very, very good. Duplicate skills. Maybe we can now dish out some more skills now that we have our Great Hall back. And yes, it sure as hell looks like it. We're going to give Cassiopeia here field research. We're going to give a thin improved carrying two. Very good. We have a deer guard. Deer guard is currently grilling and uh, researching. Um, since we have a very good researcher... It we already have a cook though yeah okay dear guard you're gonna get astronomy as well very good we have elfie here elfie is our farmer and our digger so both of those so we're gonna go down more farming since we have more crops incoming we have frozen hair he is construction and also farming how many more farmers do we have let's take a quick look there should only be one and that's killjoy and killjoy um could also send you down the arts uh, because well one art dupe is usually more than enough in a base yeah yeah we're gonna leave that alone probably also gonna give you crop tending and right here we're gonna give you improved construction too so somebody knows how to build some stuff iris will eventually probably become another mechatronics engineer because having several of those there are a lot of buildings like for example conveyor rails that can only be built by a mechatronics engineer problem with that is of course um well if you only have one it takes forever but we are a little bit early morale wise it's still okay but we don't want to overdo it so let's wait with that one right here the same thing uh killjoy right here seems to be pretty content but yeah Nathan here is still unhappy because I gave him super duper hard digging a tiny little bit too early. That was my mistake, but we should be able to rectify that soon. What though? Um, should I do it again? What seems to be a lot happier? Probably because Mason is doing all the work that uh, Watt can't do. So we're going to give it to you as well. Maybe if you share the load, it should get a little bit easier for the both of you. Even though Mason is uh, down to 30%, he was all the way up to 96% was the highest I have seen. <laughs> Sin, Sin is awesome, but I'm an egoistical, narcissistic with delusions of grandeur. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Where are we at? Right over here, we have a few more pieces of pipe that need to be asap right here we have a few more pieces of pipe there is more pipe let's prioritize the pipe all the way through with a number eight 
And of course in the other direction as well. Let's get all this stuff here built, please. The sooner the better. And of course also the wire. That then should be very helpful to what we're doing right now. Alright dupes, we're gonna turn up the speed a little bit. And then we should be good. The earlier we can start pumping our water, the better it is. Oh, look at that, our liquid tepidizer is turning back on. But our water temperature has fallen a little bit further than we would have liked. What is going on down here? Oh, it's because we're building the wire, of course. Every time a piece of wire is being built, it uh, shuts off for a second. <laughs> or are we not producing enough energy? That could be also a problem. That actually seems to be the problem. We are currently producing, what, 600, 600, 3 times 600 makes 1800. How much are we using? Let's take a look at our wires. Uh, 490 right here, 560 right there, and 960 right there. So that is actually our problem. We are producing less power than we are using. I'm going to probably pay a little bit more attention to that. But that can be rectified relatively easy. We need to dig up more coal, though. Let's take a look around. Do we have somewhere hey, a lot of coal sitting around? That would be nice. Could be a problem here on Rhyme, but yeah, over here. We have a good amount that we can get to at any time we want up here on the top. Just a little bit of chlorine gas, no problem at all. Um, anything that's easier to reach and a good amount? Not really. Other than this little bit here. Well, you know what, screw it. A little bit is better than nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go grab it. And the same, of course, goes for over here as well. We're just gonna go... All this here, and then when all this is dug out, we're gonna grab these two. And there's one more piece that I'm going after as well. You know what? As a matter of fact, let's do that before we do anything else. They can call, they can uh, hop on top of here, dig this here out, and then go do the rest whenever they feel like it. That's the question of where do we build more of them, because here we have those storage bins which are currently holding all of our ice. Not necessarily optimal, let me put it that way. Uh, because we could just go a little bit deeper in normal circumstances. And you know what, screw it, I'm gonna do it anyway. Those storage bins right here we're gonna relocate, and we're gonna just relocate them. There's nothing stopping us from putting three of them right there. There we go. That should get the job done. Then we're gonna get rid of them. And we're gonna take our coal generators, plop them right here. Actually, two of them are actually enough. Let's do that. Hook that up. And the automation wire, same thing. Perfect. Just need to give it a high priority because we are already a little bit behind. So the earlier we get this done, the better it is. But we will need more coal, which means we will need more hatches. Are you guys still cramped? How are you still cramped? Did you uh, put out another egg? Apparently you did. Alright, move it up here. Give it a high priority. And the cramping should stop. Meanwhile, in research, up here on the top, let's take a look. We have our grooming station and all that good stuff. We have animal control right here. We want to get an incubator here relatively soon. And then, of course, in automation, um, not entirely sure... Yeah, that needs to be unlocked apparently. Where is that at? Probably on the bottom here somewhere. Yep, we will need a cycle sensor, so that's gonna be the next thing on the list for research. And the cycle sensor is purely there to help us with uh, saving some energy. If that still works, that is. Did they change that as well? <laughs> Guess we will find out. Now, of course, now we have the plus nine decorating dupe that I was looking for earlier with increased husbandry, cannot do researching, and decreased trim resistance, which wouldn't matter. You would be the perfect dupe. But right now, we don't really need another dupe. Therefore, we're going to get us 2,000 uh, kilograms or two tons worth of copper back. And then we will be happy and content with the 12 dupes that we currently have. They will have to get the job done for a tiny little bit longer. Because I don't think it is smart to bring on another dupe before we have right here all of our food production set up.
Slowly but steadily, all this stuff here is getting built. Very, very good. Oxygen overview is a little bit low over here on the left side, but still absolutely fine. No problem at all. Our two oxygen diffusers, and that is exactly the reason why I usually build one on the right and one on the left, because it makes it more even. But we have them right beside each other, and that is okay for right now. Who is starving? That is a problem. Need to pump out more mush bars. Good grief. Yeah, don't have a choice. More mush bars are needed until we get our water system here properly set up. We should be able, with a directly with a number 8 priority, to build this here. Let's see, we're gonna come all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, we're running out of metal already, but that's okay. A little bit more should hopefully be in the queue. Yes, 22. Would composts help with base temperature? Yes, they most likely would. Um, it's just, you know, the outgassing is another issue that I would try to avoid if at all possible. So usually you build those in some kind of segregated area. You don't just plop them all over the base. Um, not really an optimal solution, to be quite honest. But in a pinch, if uh, you have literally nothing else, it will get the job done. Jim, Jim, Jim. How much calories do you have left? How is our uh, mushroom oh, musher here coming along? Is somebody going to work on this thing? Gemster is. Very good. Get there. Just need to keep him from starving a tiny little bit longer. It doesn't take a lot, honestly. Speed it up a bit. Six hundred calories left. Compost in the audience. <laughs> Compost uh, in the bedroom sounds perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can just expand this here a little bit and put a compost here. <laughs> I mean, it would be a way to do it. Not gonna lie. Come on, please. Make me mush bars and then bring them down here. We may have to crack a single egg here in a pinch. We don't really have a choice from the looks of it. Before one of our dupes here starves to death, it looks like the guy who just had 600 calories got something to eat. Maybe can hold off another second here. Let's hope for the best. All these here will be ripped out in a second. I should have taken care of the food problem much, much earlier. Much, much earlier. But on the bright side, so far we haven't lost a dupe. So that's a good thing. Unpermitted food, yes I know. Because we have Gremlin2424 here and he is currently frying us a mush fry. Which then hopefully will be eaten by frozen hair. That would be nice because he's just starving. Currently, we are literally on the knife's blade with keeping our dupes alive. It's almost funny. Sad, but funny. Okay, you can obviously can't reach that right here. We need to build this one higher. We need to build this one higher. Dig that out and then dig all the way over here. Then you should be able to reach all this stuff. And it should make everybody's life a hell of a lot easier. And obviously... That needs to be done with a higher priority. Can't forget about that. Very, very good. Um, um, unreachable. Oh crap, I forgot. <laughs> Obviously, right here we have our algae terrarium. That has to go now, finally. Um, because we need to dig in here so we can actually get down here and reach this stuff. I didn't pay attention. And right at the moment, I have to take the opportunity to say thank you to you guys because I'm just seeing in my statistics screen, on my off screen, of course, that you guys can see, we have reached 50 concurrent viewers, which is an absolute high for me. Um, this is my fourth stream, and uh, 50 is a number that I have not reached so far, so thank you very much, guys, for being here. 
And just a little ask from me, if you haven't yet, please leave a like on the video because it would help me out greatly. But even if you don't, thank you very much for joining. I truly appreciate it. All right, dupes. Let's get back to it. Insulated pipes. Why are those not being built? Is eight not high enough? You have literally nothing going on with a higher one. 10 out of 10 would like again. That's amazing. Thank you. I truly appreciate that. Uh. And Daniel says liked. Yes, thank you, Daniel. Again, I truly, truly appreciate it. I know any streamer says that, but I can guarantee you that I truly, truly mean that. All right, guys. Plop in those damn pipes. Fine, fine. A dime per viewer. Cinnamon Night Entertainment with another $5. You are out of your mind. Out of your mind. Keon is right, says, Internet providers prepare. We will watch. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys are crazy. I'm not entirely sure if I would have said through that myself. Not even going to lie to you. Um, like, I I didn't see it on my end up until I actually pulled up my own stream on YouTube itself instead of in the, um, you know, the um, YouTube studio version. That's when I started seeing what you guys, you know, was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, I was about 10 seconds away from stopping the stream and just calling it a day. Thankfully, switching the provider worked. Yes, I am crazy. Thank you. <laughs> Insane in the membrane. All right. Come on. A few more pipes. Tiny little bit of wire. It's all it takes. We can actually make it all the way over to our pump. That's nice. We're going to add just a tiny little bit of automation to it so I can control this thing here. It doesn't need a lot. Um, we don't need anything fancy. A switch will do. I remember a time um, where um, these switches here actually had to be activated by the dupes. That was horrendous. Thankfully, those times are over. <clears throat> I'm glad you chose YouTube to stream. I like it a lot more than Twitch. Also, hi. Good old Leon. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. Truly appreciate you and your support, of course, as always. And honestly, I prefer YouTube as well. Um, I don't know. I'm just not a Twitch guy, I guess. I guess uh, Uncle Jeff has enough money. Not like that uh, Google also doesn't have enough money, but still, though. I just figured, you know, I started making YouTubes on a video on... Or I started making YouTubes on video. I started making videos on YouTubes. Um, why not stream here, too? Screw it. Anyone can switch to the big platform where everybody is. I just like the chill environment. It's that simple. That's the only reason. Twitch forces too many ads. Actually, let me ask you about that. How many ads do you see? I have ads turned on on the stream, but I have it set to the lowest possible setting and I do not play any uh, any ads manually. Like how good or bad is it? I'm truly curious. I'm truly, truly curious. One every 20 minutes or so? That is still more than I expected, honestly. I see zero because I still use uBlock uh, Origin. Smart man. <laughs> and little FB streamer here slinks away embarrassed. There is nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, if you like uh, Facebook and you got an audience there, I mean, what is wrong with that? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You have your platform of choice. YouTube Premium here, so never ads. That's how it is for me. I have YouTube Premium myself, quite obviously. I mean, making YouTube content <laughs> kind of feels wrong to not have it. But yeah. Like I said it before, I'm not here to... to show you guys a gazillion bloody ads that is not my intention in any way shape or form so if it is more than than is absolutely reasonable then i will change the settings 
I have, uh, I like you can set it up in many different ways. For example, I can say show an ad every X minutes, or you can just say YouTube, you can do a quote unquote conservative or a medium or a high thing that whatever you think is best. And I set it to that to the lowest setting. And I just have no feeling for how much that actually is in real life. I have no idea. So if that does not work out, then I will change it manually. So it makes sense. Because even if I turn the ads off, you will still see ads. But the revenue will go 100% to YouTube. And uh, that also doesn't feel right to me. YouTube revamps got built-in ad block. Not sure how Twitch Prime works, but I like YouTube Premium much more. Well, the problem is with Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime, you pay like what is it, uh, $4.99 a month or something to the streamer, and then you get on this one particular stream less ads or no ads. Better to say, you get no ads at all. With YouTube Premium, you pay what is it, $9.99 a month or something, and you get no ads across the board. It seems like a much better value proposition to me personally. That is another reason why I prefer YouTube. I haven't seen any ads, don't have ad blocker, but I have an auto skipper I made myself. Perhaps I made it too good. Well, that's awesome. YouTube has had such an aggressive increase in the amount of ads. I wonder how that affected the numbers of people using ad blockers. Probably drastically. I mean, who likes ads? I mean, say I'm a fan of ads would be an obvious lie. <laughs> Krivak is here. Hey, Krivak. 51 viewers on stream, but only 39 likes. This is suboptimal. If you haven't already shown your support by clicking like on the video. Yep, what Krivak said. <laughs> Come on, guys, what are you doing down here? Can you please, for the love of God, build me two more coal generators? And also dig up this coal while you're at it. The pipes are getting along though, at least something is getting done. We have our liquid reservoir, we have our liquid pump, the signal switch is still missing. Everything's built on a number eight around here, that's good. YouTube Prime is one of the only sub-services I go for, honestly. I mean, most of the stuff that I watch myself is YouTube. You know? There are so many great content creators out there. Like, I'm a big fan of, like, uh, documentary-style uh, stuff or uh, engineering. Like, Mark Rober, love the guy. You know, there are so many great YouTubers out there that it's just not matched in any way, shape, or form by traditional television or any streaming. <clears throat> Fifty percent of my power is geothermal from the liquid gold like on the sideway map. <laughs> Finding oxygen not included? Impossible. Play this game to get mad. Well, I enjoy it honestly. <laughs> Maybe I'm an exception from the rule. Okay, this little bit right here. This a little corner right there. And then, of course, what we are missing down here. Down here, we have the carbon dioxide, we have the water. None of that is optimal, so it takes a little bit longer. I understand, guys. But eventually, a breaking point has to be reached. We have a lot of polluted oxygen going on here. That it was all coming from down here. So what I also need to do is I need to increase the priority on uh, this little doodad right here, which is going to hold our polluted water. Let's plop it all in. Let's go. When did polluted oxygen start causing eye irritation? I just noticed in my game, my poor dupe all alone on a second asteroid. That is all polluted air. Has it and the duration says infinite. Really? Take a look. Where are some dupes that are in polluted oxygen? You should be in polluted oxygen. Oh, you yucky lungs. Yeah, that is usually what it gets. Irritated eyes. I don't know. Can't say I have heard that before. The only thing this game makes me mad is when I notice I spent the entire day playing it. Yep. 
I can probably tell you that everyone that is currently here has had that experience at one time or another. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Of course, now they're building this stuff first before they actually build the uh, insulated pipes. Come on, dupes. Set your priorities straight. Why are these not being built? Awaiting delivery, Ignis Rock. Let's take a look into the priorities. Where is supplying? We have suppliers. Uh, Sin right here. Or actually, what are you doing? Then? Take a quick look at your skills right here. Machinery, athletics, strength. Yeah, you are definitely a supplier. Come on. Flying, storing, let's go. And tidying, sure, why not? Bring us the igneous rock so we can build the stuff that we need. We are still starving to death and we need to get this done ASAP. There's one small pa uh, chlorine packet floating around on the floor, but it says specifically it's the polluted oxygen when I hover over the debuff. That is weird. Again, I couldn't tell you if they changed something that I'm not aware of, but if the guys are all saying in the chat that it's not the case, then I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Clearly, my dupes don't have it either, and there is plenty of polluted oxygen going on here. Plenty of it. Certainly got to do something about that. Got to slap a deodorizer somewhere in this area here soon, but very, very weird. For me, time passes faster when playing Oxygen Not Included than other games. It is. It is kind of like, I don't know if you've ever played like a strategy game that is turn-based. Where you say, ah, just one more turn. Ah, just one more turn. And by the time you uh, turn around twice, it's freaking three o'clock in the morning and you got to wake up three hours later to go to work. <laughs> That's kind of what Oxygen feels. It's like, ah, it's cycle 50. How about we do just one or two more cycles, you know? Just get this one little side project here done. And while you work on the side project, you start another side project. And while you work on this side project, you work on another side project. And it's an endless cycle. I'm sure everybody here in chat, including myself, knows exactly what you're saying. <laughs> You've all been there. You've all been there. Always like that. <laughs> Let it be less than midnight, it ends up being 1.30. Yep. One more turn. Memories of Master of Orient 2 and OG XCOM flashbacks, exactly. Four starving dupes. Oh, is it getting that bad? I didn't pay attention, I was reading too much chat. Um, how far are we? Calories, we are at the lowest one is at 600. Should be able to make that out. 671 calories as long as we build more mush bars we should be golden maybe how many more arbor acorns i feel like every other turn i'm getting a freaking arbor acorn uh, you know what give it to me i'm not even gonna look at the dupes this time guys because we can't afford to have a dupe right now it's just that simple there's no point And of course, they are once again cramped. My god. Get up there, you damn egg. We need to start with more research, though. And the more research needs to be down here on the cycle sensor. Very nice. Turn up the speed a bit. It's in the middle of the night, even though we now have a night dupes, or better to say, a night shift going on here. It's uh, still a lot easier just to see and just to do things during the daytime.
I have thrown away so much time to this game. Worth it? Agreed. 100% agreed. Engineering is life? Also agreed. 100%. <laughs> Totally agreed. Almost need a spreadsheet to manage all the side projects. There have been times for my videos um, where I literally had a spreadsheet going on on the side for all the math that had to be done to make sure that the information I'm giving to you guys in my tutorials is actually accurate. So, yeah, definitely been there. Just one more cycle, the next moment you realize it's 4 a.m. Accurate. Accurate. Just got an ad. I'll time it. <laughs> Just making sure you know there's a hatch in your polluted water storage dig out. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't see that. Thank you very much. Wrangle 9. Let's go. What geysers have you found? Well, we can take a quick look around what we got here. Down here on the bottom, we have the iron volcano, right? Uh, that one I remember. And then over here on the left side, that is a minor volcano. I remember that one too. Over here on the right side, we have right here another minor volcano. And have we found anything since? Haven't. Right here we have, of course, our natural gas geyser. And what are you? Can't remember what you are. Oh yeah, a cool slush geyser. That's right. That is what we have uncovered so far. Left of water. Oh, we have a cool steam vent! How did I miss that thing the entire time there in the corner? Alright, six starving dupes by now. We have enough eggs. Let's crack two of them. We need to get those pipes built. What is wrong? Why are these pipes not being built? They are reachable. They are... We have the materials. There is absolutely nothing preventing you from building those damn pipes, guys. Get it done already. We need to get this done right away. And then all the polluted water can now slowly but steadily start to go into here. There we go. Put that one also on the nine. Very, very nice. Cool steam vent, another side project. Exactly, 100%, exactly. <laughs> it never ends. I'm telling you, it never ends. Like for example, right here, we are so low on food, I'm desperate. And we are getting us this excellent fruit right here. It is time. It is absolutely time, also right here. Bring up the bloody um, priorities. We need those excellent fruits now. Seven starving dupes. What is the worst one? Down to 900 calories. Ooh. I did lots of engineering to make a cool steam and uh, provide power and water. There are certainly ways to do that. Um, Pretty sure I have at least one or two videos about that It's somewhere. Where I actually use it for power and water. Somewhere. <laughs> Why am I literally holding my breath worried about these dupes? Not only you. Not only you. Uh, 276 calories. We are in a bad spot. What are we gonna do? I mean... I was about to say, let's reduce this priority here, but that doesn't help us any, because they're not working on it anyway. Um, down here in the bottom. Screw those two tiles. Screw this here for now. Uh, let's get the uh, immediate stuff done that we need. The ladder right here. Even though the ladder will take forever, it's another downside. Really, the best thing that we can do right now is getting over here. That is what needs to be done, dupes. This year nobody cares. Here comes Nathan. Or... Yeah, exactly. And start digging. Come on. Eggs. Didn't I just crack two? 
More eggs. More eggs. Do more eggs. And do more grilling, please. Mush bars we have in here. 2,000 grams. You should be able to make us mush fries. Let me take a look into priorities. Uh, dear guard, you can also go ahead, please, and go to the grill. We are going to stop the research for now. Don't need it. Take a look here. 500. 600. 600. 600. 800. So whoever just had 200 calories seems like he has eaten, I believe. Ah, not a pistolite. I want to click on starvation. Mm -hmm. Nope. Who is it? Gremlin2424. 24, 24. 170 calories. Right there. The clock is ticking. They will eat uh, raw eggs now and unless you disable it. Haven't I? Well, it doesn't really matter. Right at the moment, I just want him to eat anything at all. Especially Gremlin right here. Just eat something. Don't care what it is. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody's eating something right now. All right. Ooh, that was a close call. Come on, Nathan. Get rid of the Abyssalite. Do it. I love having an annoying alarm sound play in my ears. What a what annoying alarm sound. Come on. Get those two excellent fruits. Now please. Still nobody has died. Unreachable food. How is that food unreachable? Oh, the yellow alert button. <laughs> I don't think I've been used for anything, have I? I usually try to avoid it for that reason, because it's annoying as hell. Very, very good. Two excellent fruit are coming in. Those will literally save our ass here. I mean, and literally. And we can go ahead and dig over here, just underneath this minor volcano, and grab us this one as well while we're at it. Could be unreachable if it's restricted. Yeah, that could be. In the consumables, I have restricted mush bars and raw egg. Uh, I already had that restricted. I forgot about that. Okay, well. But I didn't eat any raw egg. They were actually waiting for it to be made. But now. It is finally time. Please, guys. Work on this. Work on it. For the love of God. Very, very good. Close, but good. Our coal generators down here are not having any any coal for some reason. These ones here are all low. We are still storing here uh, 5,000 kilograms. They're not digging into here because they have higher priority work. These pipes here are getting built, okay. In F6, I did leave these here open on purpose. So we can connect them, kind of like this. There we go. That is the correct way all around. Actually, is it though? I don't think it is. Because right here is where the door is supposed to be. So this one here should actually also be insulated. Just like that. But that's minor stuff and it doesn't need a high priority or anything like that. Two are starving again, but I think the food is now coming in. I think we are not in a dire situation anymore. We just need to get those last few pipes here built and we are ready to turn on our liquid pump for the first time. I'm gonna go up with the temperature down here preemptively 20 degrees in our water tank. And then right here, we can also set this liquid here to polluted water now. Have our deodorizer ready to go. That is all fine. And then, yeah, other than that, that should be it. Seven priority seems to be about right. We have two more hatches that we can wrangle here and there. Oh.
lots of cracks in the northern sandstone. In the northern sandstone? Up here, you mean? Yes. Eventually we will dig in there as well. Um, I held off on that because I saw this excellent fruit right here. For the short term. But if we have to, we can dig through here with a, with a uh, level 9 priority. Could be unreachable if it's restricted in the consumables. Okay. Alright, good. Uh, let's keep up the speed. Come on, guys. Making progress slowly but steadily. Getting there. Still starving on. Of course, the starving is not going to go immediately away when I turn it on. There is no question. Because first it needs to heat it up and then it needs to grow. But at least then we have a sustainable source of food that we can do something with. So there's that. Literally all the other stuff that is built right here, none of it matters. All of it is on a five priority. All of it is just fine. And as soon as we turn the water on, I'm going to get rid of those two space heaters right here. Uh, not in F2, but in F3. We won't need them anymore. As a matter of fact... Hmm. What we could do is... We could just expand it through here very, very briefly. Yeah, that's something we could do. And we don't need the space heaters, and we can keep this mealwood here alive as well. And it probably would also help with the general temperature in our um, base a little bit. But first of all, I really want to turn it on, then we can expand it. One step after the next. You could isolate your mealwood farm more to reduce the active time of, space, of, of the space heaters. Yeah, I could. But again, in a second, those space heaters will be unnecessary anyway because we are pumping water through. Just need those last few pieces of pipe here done and then I will rip them out. They will be gone. We will probably need insulated uh, tiles right here though. Is that what you meant, Iris? Probably. Because, yes, the top here does make a hell of a lot of sense. Our hatches don't give a crap how cold it is, or at least not fair for a very long time. Um, not entirely sure. Where do I even see that? Probably. There we go. Livable range, negative 30 to 70. They don't care. They're just fine. No problem at all. All right. Let's put in those last few pieces here, dang it. Our carbon dioxide is also rising slowly but steadily. We'll have to take care of that down here in the next episode or the next time I'm streaming, better to say. I guess however you want to look at it. But I just want to turn this water on for today. That is my goal. As soon as we have this, we will most likely call it a day. Looking a hell of a lot better though, overall, there is no question about it. Come on, four more pieces here, that piece is done, this one here is just an upgrade. Let me go through it one more time to make sure there's no mistakes or nowhere is a piece missing, coming all along here, all along there. We could make these here insulated pipes, not insulated, I mean, um, what are they called? It's laying on the tip of my tongue. Uh, radiant liquid pipes made out of copper. We could do that if we absolutely have to, but I think it shouldn't be necessary. And then right here, all around, that is just so when we need it later, right at the moment, it's just going to go around and do nothing. And the water is actually flowing. Yes, very, very good. That's awesome. So, let's watch the water go around and let's take a look at what the temperature difference is. Here we are going in at 17.6 degrees and here we are coming out at 17.4. Here we are going in at 17.4 and here we are coming out at 
So we are definitely giving some heat energy off. Let's turn down the speed again. <laughs> so as long as the problem remains, you stream. Go problem. <laughs> In F3, we should see the temperature increase here relatively soon. Let's see. We can see it here how fast it is. It's not the fastest in the world. Again, we do not have. We have not used um, uh, radiant liquid pipes, but also they are not needed for what we are doing here. That would just be a waste. The temperature will go up all by itself, especially now that we have the insulated tiles in here. Um. Rabak says, your favorite video, Metal Volcano Tamer version 3.0. That strip off three to four metal tiles. I can't believe it cools down so well. Nobody else does it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, I tried around with that in the sandbox and I was actually surprised myself. And I was like, oh my God, I, I've got to show that off. Like, I don't have a choice. People need to know about this. <laughs> yeah, highly efficient. I loved it. Did I succeed in making uh, you feel both appreciated as well as making sure you know I'm glad you're back? Oh, 100%. I truly appreciate you sticking around this entire time and uh, all your donations, of course. Thank you so much for that. It was um, highly, highly appreciated. I, I, I truly mean that. Thanks, Cinnamon. And of course, everybody else who is here right now and who has been here who, uh, throughout the stream. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Definitely a fun, fun time. Truly enjoyed every second of today's stream. Taking a look in our F3 overlay right here. We can already see the temperature that was just a few seconds ago was in the negatives is going into the positives. We can see up above our insulated tiles we are at negative 6 and negative 13. Down here at the bottom we are at 5, 1, 2, even at 10 degrees over here. Definitely is working. I had metal come out at negative five. Unnecessary, but it helped cool Oasis down. <laughs> Passively, yeah. Good, I'll probably be broke next time. Absolutely, again. The donations are absolutely appreciated, there's no question, but I am not, I'm not even asking for that, you know? In any way, shape or form. I'm just glad you guys are hanging out. And that's what's important to me. Once again, I am not yet getting another dupe. Just sandstone for right now, one ton. Um, we're gonna make sure that we have a stable supply of food and then we will think about what we are going to do with another dupe. I'll have to get back to laying out a NAND gate. Shoot. <laughs> we are the advisors. Yes, you are the advisors. The amount of tips you're giving me and telling me stuff that I'm missing is absolutely insane. That is so helpful. Um, I couldn't have uh, had a better time getting back into the game than I had in the last stream and also in this stream. Absolutely not gonna lie about it. Right here, look at this. We have our first few bits of polluted water in here. They're just outgassing polluted oxygen. And the moment it comes up here, the deodorizer is here for it. Very, very nice, which of course also improves our oxygen generation, even though yeah, down here on the very bottom it looks not too happy, but other than that it's okay. Once again, we need to take care of the carbon dioxide here very, very soon. There's no question about it. We're once again getting this starvation message, but look at this, the first two meal wood are already growing. The next one is at 9.7 degrees, 8.8. .8. The first one in the back, of course the coldest one because it's the closest to the wall that was most of the time open, is at 3.1. So let's turn up the speed one more time here very nicely and eventually we should be able to see one after the other here come to life. One by one by one, 1 1.9 degrees, come on, 9.2 uh, degrees and so on and so forth. It's a very simple system, it can be used for cooling as well as um, heating up your base because if you have enough ice laying around for example in a cold biome you can't just plop it in here at 20 tons and it will provide a ton of cooling to your water so if you're on a hot planet it works also obviously for a limited amount of time and also depending on how much ice you have available but it is certainly a viable thing to do there is no question about it 
Advisor sounds so formal. I'm a problem by official title awarded by my mom. <laughs> I prefer the term uh, voices inside of hell. <laughs> How about people yelling at me when I fuck up? <laughs> uh, didn't I give this here number nine priority? What happened with that? All the way through? Nine? Hello? Anyone? Don't feel the love? Give me the fruit. The third one is up. And so on and so forth. Like I said, slowly but steadily, it should be getting better. And something else that we could do if we absolutely want it, we could go into plumbing and we can just replace every other one. For example, right here, and 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 right here. With one of our wonderful radiant pipes. They're made out of copper, not out of aluminum, but it's definitely better than nothing. So let's do that real quick, just so we can see what it looks like. I'm gonna give it all a nine priority for right now, doesn't matter. I'm gonna set that back to five once it's all built. And there we have it. Gonna set the priority back to five where it belongs. And we should see a difference in our pipe here, uh, in F6, of course, coming in at 18, coming now out at 14, which means a, a lot more heat energy is given off into the environment. And also the ones that are currently right on top here should be getting a lot warmer, a lot faster. We can see it now, we can actually watch it go up to uh, 0 0.1 degrees at a time. Very, very nice. All right. We have a very, very stable water supply, or better to say, heat supply to our base right now. We're getting a little bit low on our coal, which we definitely have to take care of here shortly, because currently all we have is coal generators. Currently we are digging up more coal, so that's a good thing. I see two more pieces right here, and a couple more up there that we can get into as well. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. Next time around, we will have to take care of our carbon dioxide down here in the bottom, and up here on the top, we also need to get this natural gas geyser right here. We need to get it as quickly as we can so we can um, produce energy with a second source. Again, right now we only have coal. Adding natural gas to that will alleviate that problem somewhat. And it is a renewable source um, that doesn't cost us anything other than a little bit of power. So that is certainly very, very good. And that is on the agenda. We will also transfer all of our ice and our snow into this tank here so the tank fills up more and more and more and we should not lose that much water anymore because all we're using it for is basically the wash basins and of course our supercomputer right here which uh, which requires also water um, hopefully the days of mush bars are now over or will at least be very very soon Yep, we can see those tiles where I built those uh, radiant liquid pipes uh, literally is sticking out from everything else exactly as expected. And we can rip out all those space heaters right here. And in F6, we will have to expand our line all the way through so we can also keep these here alive. I decided I'm going to keep them in a little bit longer. At the moment, it's better to have too much food than not enough. I don't want to run into another starvation problem. But yes, guys, once again, Thank you for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. And if you have not liked the video yet, please do so. It would help me out greatly. And all it costs you is a click. And of course, if you want to stay up to date when I'm streaming, because currently I don't have a hard streaming schedule, join my Discord and you will be the first to know, no matter if YouTube decides to actually notify you on the YouTube website or the app itself. Definitely Discord is the best way to keep up to date what's going on here. But... That is all I have for you today, and with that I say thank you, and peace.